Podcast, where you get all the latest gaming news, hot topics, and more. With guests Triple Cup Chuck, Live Wires Gaming, 108 Dragons TV, Bloody Knuckles, Operations Ops 100, live, live. and your host, K Mega 405. The GRG Podcast starts right, 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 right now. Hands off, man. Something, man. You, you're really, uh, your your wife promising uh, you, her, and a partner or something, man. Wow. That you gotta get off quickly. And as you can hear, <laughs> Xbox 448, <laughs> yeah. he's so different than he usually <laughs> is on Dude, his I podcast. Up, I was set up on that, man. Hey, hey. I got you good, bro. That was great. That was fantastic. I love somebody, it. I somebody timestamp that. that shit right there. Ah, that was time fantastic. Timestamp it so that way no one ever comes back to that point. That oh, was oh, 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 oh my, oh my. Yo, brother, if you're feeling some sort of way, trust me, I can have O Snap send you a couple of my doll real quick, man. Loosen up those emotions and ha- nah, have you kind of regular. Nah, because mama <laughs> will always take care of me. I'm like you, dad. That's what I'm saying. She'll take care of you, man. Give me yeah. a couple of my doll, yeah. you'll be good. As long as you don't go to the corner store and never come did, back. Did we go. Did we take a left turn already. I, yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah, we we took a left <laughs> turn already. We I definitely bet, took I a bet, left yo, turn. Mega- if yeah. you are the host, go ahead and do what you do, man. Okay, I was just going to let y'all run a little bit. That's fine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? X-Bot and Baby-Bot, they own at each other's throat. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? That's for, that's, that's, uh, that's for the record books. That's for the GRG record books. But anyway, oh, they, didn't we, hear, they didn't even hear what was going on off there. Man. I know. that was, that was was It was going live. Anyway, <laughs> and speaking of live, we are doing it live, ladies and gentlemen. We are doing it live, the GRG podcast. We are here in full effect, and we are definitely... About to give you a good show and definitely had to have uh, somebody, man. Thank you so much, Xbot, for coming on and filling in because a couple of guys did not make it. Uh, Livewire, if all you got to do is throw the throw the uh, dolphins out and you will summon the dolphin master. You will summon, <laughs> you will summon him and he will be here. I promise you that. But you got to throw them dolphins out. Everybody else, I don't know. I think that uh, 100, he told me that he had a hangnail and he couldn't do the show. So. <laughs> And then for Lemon, he told me he was pregnant. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. But regardless of that, what's happening? Matter of fact, 100 is in the chat. Uh, he's a, uh, I'm not Lemon, but 100 is in the chat. He's saying what's going on, everybody. Uh, I think what's going on with him. Hey, man, how was that hangnail? You told me that that hangnail was hurting really bad so much that you couldn't talk. But thank God you can type. So it's all good. But I I love how you said the hangnail hurt so much he couldn't talk. Right. (laughs) But he could type. So we'll appreciate that, man. But anyway, let's get on to it. Um, uh, Let's get on to our special guest, man. x by 448 from the next podcast. Also, he does Crossfire and uh, PlayStation Nation. Um, is that the yeah, right name for it now? Dude, dude, uh, yo, well, I, I'm I'm still considering it Xbox Nation. Like, so when when it comes down to it, you know, I, I bring the the common sense to that show. Uh, mm. Otherwise, man, it, it you know it it'd be so it it would be so Pony Nation that literally like yo know, hay would come through the computer as you were like watching it or something like that. But man, I I, I settle it down. I let them know the common sense. Uh, what's going on with Xbox and um. I believe I believe there's there's a few people that that check that out to uh, to actually hear that common sense on that show, man. Yeah, no, I I totally agree with that. I totally agree with that. But other than that, man, uh, yeah, no, I mean, I keep seeing all the you know because I, I haven't watched PlayStation Nation and uh, I, I was I haven't watched it because I'm you know usually working on bed here early because of the because of the hot season. But yeah, man, I, I hear that you uh, you hold it down, and of course, when you know, when I know that you're holding it down, they say that you take an L. So because that's what the PlayStation, that's what the PlayStation family. Yeah, you, you don't you say. don't listen to them, man. It, yo, yo, just by me showing up, I automatically take an L there. But you know, when it comes down to it, they they try to bring in their their uh, quote unquote Kratos. Uh, you know, shout shout out to J Dub, man, because I I do have a lot of fun like talking games with him and stuff like that, and when he does uh the special uh special guest appearance on xbox nation you know i i, I have a tendency to to, to let them know man it, it's about that common sense and and there's really not all that doom and gloom around xbox that people try to portray man well yeah no i mean we we all know that i mean I've, the common sense gamers know that but when yeah. it comes to those that just want the so-called smoke i call it mist 
That's all that they really <laughs> want. So that's just what's going on. Yes. Are, are you are you vaping, bro? Oh no no no, I, no, 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 no. Okay. I was saying that promethine mist. That's what I was basically saying. Oh, but, the needler. Yeah. But anyway, man, let me go on and get the rest of these bums out of the way so we can get on to these topics. Because tonight's going to be a short night for moi. Cause I got to be at work at two a.m., so it's uh, it's one of the things. Oh, oh, look who decided to come in late. I'm in traffic. My game went into double overtime. I'm here, but I'm in traffic, and I don't want to use my phone. What you talking about? Your uh, your two K game? That, that, that what's that no, going No, I had a live basketball game. You know, I actually do cardio, unlike your big ass. Ooh. Oh. You know oh, what? Oh shit! But that's know, how it's gonna go. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh no, tonight's gonna get messy already. You know what? It's good. The problem no, it's is it's not gonna get messy. Oh. But you already attacked me and said I was pregnant, only because <laughs> your sister is hanging longer than me. Sad. Oh, oh shit! Oh but, you know, shit! You know, but what the fact is, you know, what I'm saying <laughs> this man talking about he getting a cardio because he had to work out because when I dropped that ass to the floor, he looked at me like, God <laughs> damn! <laughs> Technic- <laughs> technically, you tripped me. <laughs> That wasn't a trip, bro. That was all hands. I didn't even put the feet on you yet. But anyway, man, good to come. good for you to be here. Uh, man, let me go. Let, let's go to uh, Bloody Knuckles or a, AKA Baby Bot. What's going on with you, bro? Not much. You know how it is. I'm always here doing my thing, kicking off, doing all that good shit. And of course, it's always good to have uh, Xbot on the show because every time we're together, everyone's just like, "Who the hell is talking right now?" So it's always entertaining. <laughs> Well, basically, whoever makes the most sense, that's that's me. All right. Oh, uh, the no, one. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. It's more like whoever never shuts the fuck up. That's baby bot. All right. That's all you got to no, know. Technically, whoever... technically, after you have a few drinks, we gonna know the difference. Uh, <laughs> that, that, that's probably true too. That's definitely true. <laughs> I can't I can't drink in podcast, man. I can't do that. Yeah. Look, all we all you gotta know is the one who Mel loves more, that's baby bot. That's all you gotta oh. know. Oh yeah, you can say whatever you want, but she's not buying you an elite two controller, is she? Oh, oh. oh I'm sorry. I thought that you made your own money. Oh, oh. that's an EBT card it. contract. Chill. Oh. That's an EBT card contract. Don't do that. Oh, oh that's an EBT EB card. Okay, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> all right, sorry, all right. Bro. Okay, sorry, well, let, let, let's go straight to uh, man, our lawyer. You know, what I'm saying the rook, our rookie of the year here at GRG. What's going on with your operations up? Oh man, so many breaching contracts tonight. Man, y'all can get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Everyone breaking contracts and shit. Breach but I'm chilling over here, bro. It would be better if the DLC for Mutant Zero Zero we working right now. I'm pissed, bro, because I'm so excited for it. It keeps crashing on me, so I can't even play that right now. Yo, but other than that, I'm DLC like, tune for Void Bastards, bro. Yeah, bro, I'm waiting for it to come out too. The drop yet or it hasn't come out yet? I can't remember. It's, it's gonna be dropping soon. Yep. Is it August? Late August or like September? Uh, like in two weeks. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm straight for that. All right. Hopefully that'll be working. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, bro, I just been chilling over here. All right, cool, cool, cool. And uh, hey, man, look, I appreciate the uh, donation. Uh, definitely uh, 108 because of the fact that you was uh, late. So you know, what I'm saying you had. It. I love my brothers. I'm here for you. It don't matter. It don't matter. Okay. I'm here for you. Uh, yeah, because I said because. We... And I'm on my cell phone. You know, I don't want to be on my cell phone talking and driving, but I'm still here. Actually, Hopefully I'm clear. Actually, it sounds a little bit better than your mic. Ah! You see? All right, Nega, I'm Nega, if I were you, I wouldn't be talking about mic problems, man. Just go back a couple oh. weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, thank do, you. Do, do, do I got seven ninety nine Walmart mic? He be posting up. Hey, 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 hey do my, that, that man. mic sound legit tonight? It does. It does. It must have borrowed it from your neighbor. Oh, Yo. I might have. I might have. Okay. This, like I said, this, tonight is just one of those nights, man. Okay, I see where this is going. Anyway, let's get to it and talk about the very first topic going off right here. And I know my boy Op want to talk about this. Uh, there, well, there's two things that you want to talk about. But first, let's just get this out the way. And let's talk about uh, Borderlands 3. There's a controversy. There's been controversies going on with with uh, Borderlands or with the de- developers of the Borderlands. But this one is really kind of crazy because one of the people in um, one, of, one of these streamers uh, from Twitch I uh, don't don't remember what his name was, but he actually came out and he made a video talking about 
He had two people dressed in black come to his home and talk to him about him showing game content that I guess was pretty, or I should say secrets from Borderlands 3. And mm. also on top of that, he had his channel flagged four mm. times Brother. by 2K. Brother, check this out. What what happened was okay. uh, uh-huh. what happened was um, the developers of Borderlands was using a a Twitch uh, a Twitch channel, a private Twitch channel, yeah. where they were kind of like going back and forth with gameplay and you know doing the whole development thing and stuff like that. When they showed a highlight of some gameplay in the bottom left hand corner was the name of that channel. Now the guy that you're talking about, he is a diehard Borderlands streamer. But with that, with that, with getting the name, even if they put the stream on private, it collects certain amount of data and stuff like that of what they're doing on the stream. So him and a lot of other people were watching that channel and they were reporting on things that they were seeing. And that's where it was uh, 2K, the publishers, sent people out to to his house to talk to him about about his quote unquote content. Okay. Well, thank you. Yep. All right. No doubt, brother. You know oh, I'm yeah, on top of it. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No top of it. This must be a topic for tomorrow. No, no. I was, I was skipping that. Man. I got, I got, I got a bunch of topics. Bro. Oh, okay. I know you're gonna run through a topic or two that we're gonna talk about tomorrow for sure. But uh, okay. So th- this is this is something that I just kind of went through and breezed through and read about. I thought it was kind of crazy. I watched the video where the guy was explaining what was going on, and I just looked at it as kind of like. Uh, you know, look, it is kind of shady practice, but then again, when you look at it, it's like, you know, you got to protect these devs and you got to protect the people that's making these games. Now, I, I want to get the rest of the panel and get their thoughts about it because I, for me, I'm just kind of like, look, man, there's so many people that wants to get views and they will do whatever it takes so they can get those type of views. Now, if he had a negotiation with with 2k beforehand then that's something different but from the sound of this he didn't and it sounded like the 2k was getting tired of his shit and basically was like look we're going to be like the atf and shut your shit down so i'm going to go to you uh operations what do you think about this whole situation yo man this whole thing's pretty crazy though because it seems like it's a bit of a slip on 2k's end because like they actually release the name for that channel they're doing the private streams on as well so they guess these streamers, content creators, want the extra mile to report on that, the extra news about Borderlands. Like that part, you can't, you, to a degree, you can't get mad at them because you just slip up. They're going, they're going to investigate. They're going to figure out what's going on. So copyright striking them, I can get that from on 2 case end. But send a private investigator to interrogate them or question them for like, what, 20 or so minutes about it? I think it's going a little too far. At least the copyright strikers channel. We'll leave it at that. Don't send it. On the, my bad. On the copyright strike, he got I, I, at least over. I think it was like eight copyright strikes all together. Yeah, six, I think, and like four. And, and six, six of them. Well, six of them were taken off. So okay. in other words, two K like took them off. It was kind of like a threat. Like, hey, stop what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Or, yeah. or, or we're you know we're gonna do something about your channel, basically. Yeah, they have all the right to do that part because he's showing information that they don't want to publicize. So yeah, I do that. The inve- private investigator. Dude, it's their fault. It's far. their fault with their them well, showing the name of their fault. channel, man. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a fumble on their end. I cannot excuse that part. But send an investigator, that's going a little too far in my book. Copyright strike, mm-hmm. you know, go ahead and do that. You need a full legal right to do that. But an investigator, nah, that's too much. Because they, they are already in a lot of hot water right now, gamers and press right now. Because before that, they got some heat about what mistreating one of the voice actors pretty bad. I think it was one for Claptrap, I think. I think there's a story about that, and now this, I just it's really piling, it's really starting to pile on top of the game right now. But what do y'all think? Hmm. I don't know, bloody. Okay. What do you think? Oh, oh no, go ahead. One, one wait. Okay, let me say something for the record. Um, it's like with these movies, they try to protect their content. They try to keep a surprise for the public. Yes, it's two K fault. They slipped up, but you can't say for them to protect now. Knowing these people and meeting these people, as me and K. Megan and a few of us did in here, we know they love their content. But what's the main thing they want people to do? Enjoy the game and be surprised. Is this not a fact? Right? That's definitely a fact, yeah. Okay, so 
You spend millions and millions to develop this game. Yes, you slipped up. You know you got hardcore fans. Homeboy caught a little whiff. Oh, I know what to do. He found the content. He found out how to get through the back door, and he did it. If they send a private investigator to his house to protect the content and give him a warning shot, that's really setting an example and saying, the rest of y'all better not try this. That protects the content and keeps it fresh for people without spoilers. So it's two sides to the story. It's two sides. Because it's like when somebody go watch the Avengers and, and a dude walks out the movie theater, God damn, I can't believe they killed uh, 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 Iron Man. That's why he got his ass whooped on the line. Because people want the element of surprise. So if them spending all this money, spent about four or five hundred dollars to send in private investigator his house, yo, listen, you can't be doing this. That content is protected. You got to slow down. You have to respect the rights of the developer and the work and time that they put into the game. Yes, they're at fault. But, you know, you got them hardcore people. Look at the people that data mine. They give away DLC secrets all the time. You think Call of Duty, Halo, Gears, Uncharted, Spider-Man, DLC. Destiny. You think, Right, Destiny. Do you really do believe that they want this leaked? No. Look at Nintendo. Your game comes out. You can't stream it when it's but, out. But dude, they don't. They don't like shut down. They shut down this dude's Discord server. Everything like that. They don't. They yo you all the name all the publishers that made all those games you're talking about. The one thing that they don't do is that shit right there. I mean, I you know mean, I saying? get it, but but I'm not arguing that fact. What I'm saying is, if they took it to that extent, that means it means that much to them. Because Nintendo goes that far. Nintendo does. You couldn't even stream uh, Mario Odyssey or Zelda. Yep, it, all was get, it all was getting taken down. You couldn't stream um, um, the Penis Demon game. What's that game called again? Persona 5. Persona 5. There you go. So let's not do that. Don't get mad at 2K because they took the extra step. Because if you think all the money you put into a game is worth protecting it, that's protecting your investment. That's like protecting your family. You ain't going nobody hurt your kids. So that's typing. I don't know. But Yo, it's, it's, typing. <laughs> bloody, is that you typing? No, nah, that's not me. Yeah, that's Twitter fingers. He took too long. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it's not me. But listen to what I'm saying. I'm not defending them, but they have the right to take those steps, obviously. And if other companies are lighter on different games, they have, they have the right to do that. Game. Yes, to protect the right, they have, they have bye, a right to, 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 to take take his Discord server off offline. No, no, I said, to, I said to warn him. I didn't say to destroy him. What I'm saying is Nintendo that's does what that. Nintendo, well, well, that's bad. Discord is that that's bad. What I'm saying, I didn't agree with every. I don't agree with everything I do, but I'm saying as an investment, they have a right to protect the invest. The game is not out. Okay. Nintendo, okay. Nintendo. Listen, let me finish. Nintendo doesn't have a right. Once you I get the game in your house. But but listen, once you get a game in your house, you own it. Nintendo don't got the right to tell you you can't stream it. You own it. That's true. This game is not out. Hey, hold you on for a second. Content. Hold on for a second. Uh, sorry for you. Sorry, I don't know what happened. I because I was I'm watching the stream and then the stream just cut off. But it's back on. It's back. Yeah, up. I'm still. I'm, I'm watching. I didn't see anything. Sometimes no, it, it just cut off. I just watched it, it but it pops right back on. So sometimes no. That's sometimes that's YouTube. Wi-Fi, brother. Sometimes that's no, YouTube or server. Name my Wi-Fi. It, no, it's not you, Kmag. It's not you. Sometimes YouTube does that. Yeah, YouTube. But YouTube listen, this is what I'm saying. But I'm not disagreeing with you. But like I, I said, I need to share my thoughts. Yeah, I can't wait to get in on this. I want to hear everybody like, else. First. They still have a right to protect the unreleased content. Once right. you own it, you you can't tell me what to do. I don't care what you say. I could do what I want to do, but we don't own that game. And they slipped up, but we don't own. Nobody owns Borderlands Three. Nobody. Yeah. And that's crazy too. Hey, what what the hell? Like, I can't. Like everybody that talks, it doesn't switch. It's it's got a. Uh, you got to take in, in and, the hangout in the hangout. Uh, unhighlight yourself, and it will. And, and I have to ah, say this. There you go. There you go. And All I right, have to say go. this, but I didn't miraculously come up with a wedding, sucker. I was happy that you invited me to next, but I forgot about the wedding, so I just said yes. Facts. I couldn't defend myself because yes. I was in the chat. I just wanted to bring that up. 
He's still my guy. <laughs> Just say yes. All right, uh, Bloody, what is your thoughts about this? Because I didn't really hear what you had to say yet. See, what, what it is Next. is oh, that the Ugh. fact of that, you know, it, me, Lemon brings up an absolute good point. There is a certain aspect of needing to protect the fact that it is an unreleased game. It hasn't even finished production. It hasn't gone gold yet. It's not done. So the amount of information that's getting put out by it, unless it's going through a public source, such as any media company that specifically is being given that content to be released to the public should not be released because of the fact that a lot of that stuff that's still in development, maybe stuff that isn't even going to be public or even used. And the fact that they're saying, Oh, it's going to have this. They're going to use this. They're going to use that. Some of the things that you may be saying that's in the game is not even going to be included in the game. And if it's not included in the game, then people are going to be like, well, they lied in all this, this, and that, and they're removing yep. stuff. You don't want to go that route because the fact that one, so that's that an issue with the, the no, 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 be listen, and that becomes an issue because of the fact that people like data mine and pulled out information too early on things that aren't even dead set on being in the game. So one that puts an issue between the community because of the fact that they report on stuff that isn't even there and it set a certain expectation that was no longer in that game. So one, it becomes an issue with the community because they set themselves up for for something that wasn't even true, and then it also causes issues with the with the with the devs because of the fact that they said, "Oh, well, y'all were doing all this. Why'd you take it all out?" Because of the fact that not everything that goes into a game is everything that they wanted to do. They cut a lot of stuff. We've we've seen we've seen we've seen a lot of stuff that gets dropped on the cutting room floor when they're when they're trying to put everything together. So the thing is. There's nothing wrong with them having to, to send a warning, say, look, what you're doing, stop it now. Absolutely. Right. The way they right. did it could have been much better. You don't you don't just find out that two dudes in black suits show up at your house and give you a 30 minute lecture of like, hey, cut the shit right now. Especially with the fact that they, that they were giving them all these copyright strikes. The copyright strikes make sense on them on having to, to put out like, look, we can take down all your stuff because of what you're doing. Because of the fact that that's one of those things, especially since, one, he's not technically under NDA, but it is one of those things that you don't want that unauthorized information being released right. before it's ready. I was like, so, so they, 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 they are channel. doing, they are like doing what, emails, saying what he did wrong and why he did what they did. Exactly. If they did that, that this would have much more. Exactly. And that's one of those cases of, hey, look, this is a company that is following through with everything that's within their legal right. To say, look, you are breaching and taking private secret information. We have a right to basically take everything and do they, what they can. They do. They do. <clears throat> it, it's a, and they it's do because none of us turn, own it. it. I do. Exactly. My it, turn yet? Go ahead. Go ahead, Xbox. Because I see you want to um splash. Yo, <laughs> haven't you guys ever heard of freedom of speech? Like, oh, no, 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 hold on, no, 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 so whatever information he collected was public domain. At that point in time, they have no say. They're the ones who put out the doorway to get information. Yo, I, I think you guys have been like going to E3 too much and kind of rubbing elbows with developers. First off, it's not even the developers. It's the publisher who sent private investigators. It was 2K. On behalf of the developers? It was Fact. 2K. It wasn't on behalf of the developers. Yes, I can, guarantee, good, good I can guarantee you the publishers don't give two shits about the developers, but they want that product, though, because that makes well, hold them on, money. Hold on. But All right? I said that in the All beginning, right. that it was on them for no, releasing that stuff. I did say that. Them, but then you kind of like cushionly kind of like just accepted what they did. At the end of the day, there a lot of leaks come out, all right? And there's a lot of people who get into those to see what is exactly going on. All right. It's it's no it's no different than if you take it out of games and go to like the military or the government. If they release a, a piece of paper that states something and somebody does research and puts it out there, that's freedom of speech. All right, no matter what. Speech it's, and it's not- showing stuff is two different things, my man. Do you even and, know what he said, though? Do you even know what kind of content he was talking about? 
He showed content. Didn't he show video? He can't. He can't show video because right. they don't. They don't. Ha it, it releases information. Yeah, didn't and, he and, show and a new far, character or something like that? Far, as far as uh, I believe, he he's, he did insinuate that there there might be a new character as well, and he did state that this could not go, might not happen at all. So in terms of developers, you know, working on something and then taking it out or whatever, when it comes down to it, that doesn't mean anything. It all it does is it, it goes to. It goes to the credibility of the person putting out the information. And if that turns out to be wrong in the gaming community, the gaming community themselves will be like, man, well, you were you were just lying. All right? Well, that's that's not the fact, because we got a lot of YouTubers that be lying and people still follow them. We're not them. talking about a lot. We're talking about one person right now, man. <laughs> True indeed. True indeed. True indeed. But, like but when I it comes down to it, I don't I don't want I don't want people taking away my God-given rights to do research on stuff just because they spent millions of dollars on it. I can't talk about it. There's no way in hell I'm down with that. Okay, okay, I can agree, but I have a question. Are you in the bleeding edge beta or alpha? Are you in the bleeding edge alpha? No, I want to be, though. Oh, well, I'll hook you up. But let me tell you something. Oh, okay, dude, I'm waiting in the DM right now, brother. <laughs> hey, you're not well, let me tell one. you something. Let me tell you something. When you go to start that, the first thing it shows you is do not record and do not stream. So that's you called? think you know what it called? says do not record and do not you know that, stream. You have to hit I agree, right? Yes. Yeah, you and know what that's called? And if you that's stream called? those legal, games, that's let me finish a legal my public document called an NDA to which you are binding yourself legally to not share it. It's a completely different thing. But let me ask you a question. That's not what I was going to ask you. The point was, would you still do it? And if they showed up at your no, house, I would you be mad? I signed, I signed over my right to, not to, to do it, just to be able to test it. This guy didn't sign over anything. I got you. I understand you 100%. Now I get you. I get where you're coming from. I got you. You know what I'm saying? And, and the no, more and more you. we're like, the more and more we're like, well, you know, you know, we know that, you know, it was like 2K's fault or... You saying he found fault. it, there was no agreement, he put it out, and they mad. Yeah, and, and the right. thing was, I the thing you. was, the thing was, 20 minutes after the interview is when they he got um those copyright strikes. Within an hour after that little investigator interview, his Discord servers were offline. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's now, does that, crazy. Does that not sound like a big brother moment? Yes. It sounds like a bullying Dude. moment. Yeah, yes. I'm, I'm not. I'm yes. not down with that, man. No, no, no. I agree. I agree. I see your point now. I get it. You're right. I get it. From that standpoint, you're right. I get it. Oh, man. I don't know. It did it again. I don't know what the hell is the issue, but look, if you need to go and check or it about out. about the technical side. That's why you got me. Oh, uh, uh, keep, keep salt, 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 said he said YouTube has been messing up, too, so I don't know. Like I said, everything I is working you. on my I end. told you it was YouTube. Oh, God, I, know you I was said. streaming the other day. Lies. Uh, okay. It did the same thing. Everything was working. YouTube completely stopped. Everybody on Mixer, Twitter, and Facebook saw the stream continue. YouTube stopped, and then it started back up. Don't All worry right. about it. Well, if the case, if, if, if we, we're doing this on Twitch, and we're also doing this on, <laughs> on, on Mixer. And we're doing this on Mixer as well. So if you want to go to Mixer, right. go go to Kmega45, Kmega underscore 45 on Mixer. Or, you know, go to Kmega45 on Twitch. You can see it there. Or I think it's on Facebook. No, yeah, it is on Facebook, but that's... I got restream that in Facebook now. You yeah. can do Facebook for free. Yeah, Facts. yeah, yeah. I got it on Facebook as well. So anyway, regardless, um, but I just got it under the wrong name. I got it under my personal name on on Facebook. So like, my we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that live. My, my hey, you, you hear me? Yeah. You already got stalkers. We're not doing that. Hello. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. I don't know what, I, what happened. I don't know what happened, but uh, yeah, whatever what it was. Stop it. Anyway. Go to Mixer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go to Mixer. Anyway. Uh, hey, yeah. As you see me playing this Sekiro, you know what I'm saying? They say I don't, I don't. I mean, I play it all. This game is that game is hard as hell, though. That game <laughs> is tough. Was, that game is tough. Uh, anyway, you, you finally decided to play a hard game. 
<laughs> Yo, don't okay. don't do that, but don't yeah. do that, but I mean, no, that, uh, I that, mean, baby, that, bot. that was baby, baby, bot. Bot. that was baby. Uh, bot. Listen, yeah. until until he beats <laughs> that game, I don't want to hear shit. All right? Okay, I don't all right. Hear hey, what's your what's your witch, what's your witch, your Witcher status? What's your Witcher no, no, status? No, don't do that. Don't do that, Game Mega. Until you can play first person games, be quiet. No, 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 oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 no you just don't throw out stuff that ain't supposed to be thrown out. And it had to right. be pretty serious for somebody to jump in and to bring people, from, you know, say, cops to your door. Like, I've never heard that before. Like, they must have been serious. No, 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 you did hear that. Nintendo does that. <laughs> oh, I didn't know Nintendo. Nintendo did. I didn't know Nintendo, Nintendo did that. Nintendo does that hey, with bro. games you just bought. Yeah, private Fact. investigators. And they said that they followed him for like 10 months or whatever. They, they oh were just God. watching for like 10 months. So he was just he was just messing up, man. But regardless of that, whatever. Uh, just don't do no crazy shit like that, man. Especially not for clicks. But man, man. All right, but let's get on to it. Let's talk about Gears 5 right quick, man. Talk about it. It went gold today. <laughs> Um, a lot of people, a lot of people, uh, is starting to get the 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 excitement. The juices are starting Woo! to flow. Also, the the um, they also showed the console, the limited edition console uh, this week. Uh, looks uh, pretty slick. You know, I'm actually thinking about uh, trading in my uh, tr trading Scorpion in Scorpion edition. Yeah, tr trade. Well, I don't have the Scorpion, the Scorpio edition. I don't have the Scorpio. Oh edition. damn! Bro, I got I, the Scorpio. Mute your mic. Well, no, 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 no. I, I went, I ordered it off of Amazon and it, when I, you know, I paid for it and everything and then they never shipped it to me. I told That's the story. That's why you need to live in New York so yeah. I can take care of my family. Uh, anyway, but they didn't ship it to me. There was a whole bunch of crazy stuff that happened. And so I just got, I had to, I had to get my money back and then I went and, uh, got it from got got, the, got mine at Walmart, so I just got the regular got the X. basic edition. That's okay. I got. I mean, that's the, the yeah. X. The X been working fine, so it's all good. But anyway, regardless, I'm finna, I'm thinking about trading <laughs> in and getting this getting this limited edition. Plus the Me fact too. that they're talking about that they're going to show horde mode and the story mode. Uh, yes. At Gamescom, so yeah, 16, uh, 16. yeah. So let me go they ahead. They the campaign first too, as well. Yeah, let, let me go. Well, that's yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, they're going to start talking about the campaign. Pay attention. Pay attention. We're not doing last I'm week's sorry. show. I'm joking. We're not. We're not doing last week's show. Livewire, <laughs> are you there? I guess. We, I guess we are doing last week's show. <laughs> All right, <laughs> but you there? I already said my piece on it. What'd you say? We're still talking about the the oh, stuff, uh, bloody. No, we're still no, we're still talking about the whole them saying. Yo, did you send me the rent yet? <laughs> what we were just on the shit talking about the about them sending no, the investigators. Wasn't. No, yes, we were. We all passed that. Literally, he just said it right now. I no, he didn't. Just, yes, he did. Whatever. Go next. Bye. Did you send me the rent? <laughs> What I don't know you. What the shit. hell is going on? I'm talking about the gear. I'm talking about Gears Five, fool. Oh, Gears Five. Oh shit! <laughs> with, 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 with them talk, with them going about Gears Five, they already said what they were saying since E3 about what the release schedule is on how they're going to be showing stuff off. They focused all between June and July was them all talking about escape mode. Now at the end of the or later on in August, they're going to be showing off uh, horde mode at Gamescom. And then they're going to give a sneak peek about the story. I don't want to see anything on the story. I want them to focus only on the horde mode because of the fact that I want to see the improvements that they did with horde mode for now. What's this horde mode 4.0 or 5.0 since they, since the last one that no 4.0 because horde 3.0 was in, uh, in gears four. I want to see the new changes that they made because, because yeah. horde mode on what they did with gears four was really phenomenal. And I like the way that they've improved it each game. I want to see how they continue to improve it with this next one and what they're going to do differently because each horde mode 
has been a massive iteration of itself and definitely improves upon everything that they do. You don't see that all too often when it comes to uh, a mode like that that's reiterated itself over an entire series of games. Literally, they you just stick to the tried and true. You forgot what? something. They invented that mode. I know they did, but I'm saying you no, don't I know you know, but say it so people know. Yeah. They they were the reason that the horde mode like craze right. was big in the 360 era because after they did it with right. Gears 2, literally every game was uh, was horde mode last generation was this generation's battle royale. Battle royale. Exactly. Facts. I was about to say they 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 set the foundation for what a good horde mode is, and everyone wanted a horde mode. Every game was coming out with a horde mode. Everyone wanted to do. They couldn't do it right. They couldn't do it right. And even better, even still, I was like, not only did they they create and start that that style of game uh, or mode, they also have completely reiterated it every new game and always added something different to it that made it stay fresh and actually appealing. Oh. That's why Horde Mo Horde three point and Gears four was phenomenal that's why i want to see what they do with gears 4 or horde 4.0 and gears 5 and see what new changes that they do i was like that is what i want to see when they show it off later at gamescom i know they're gonna be talking about story and everyone is complaining that they need to show only story shit i don't care about the story i only want to see whatever is going on with uh yeah, wanna, with the actual see multiplayer stuff. Mode. I wanna see story. yeah i was like story i will see story when the game launches on the six because you know why i'm getting that ultimate edition <laughs> Not from Game Pass because I'm buying Woo! that game. Because in fact, that's the way you do it. Even if it's Game, game Pass, Pass yeah. Even if you got Game Pass, I'm still buying that game anyway. You know why? Because I love that game and I support those devs. I was like, so I will find the story when the game launches. I want to know what's going to be coming out in that new Horde mode. That's all I care about. Facts. All right. Cool. Well, uh, I'm not, I was just going to say one thing. Uh, like I, you, I, I know you, you, guys, you guys feel like you guys feel like. Uh, you know, Gears invented Horde mode, but all Horde mode really was was a natural evolution of Castle Defense. That's basically what it, what it is. You know what, Bot? That's a great fucking point. I don't curse online. That's a great damn point. Yes, that's okay. a great point. <laughs> I like how you say you don't curse and you still say another curse. You know, yeah. I don't curse. I don't curse. <laughs> Yo, that's a great point, damn point. Baby. That's a hey. great damn point. Bot is right. That's a great damn point. Thank you, Bot. The the war mode is an evolution of your classic yes, tower is. defense stuff. Yes, it I is. Like, but I was like, I that's how it like that. that that's how it changed though, because of the fact that that's what really gear horde 3.0 became was a tower defense. You started setting up all they added the class system, they added all the different uh weapons and all the different uh yeah the fortifications and the way that you That's had right. to defend the the fortification spot the the uh fabricator you had to set up all the different uh style uh sentry turrets and all sorts of stuff like that to defend that area so yes it is more of a natural progression of uh the tower defense okay cool yeah. what, what's going what's going on uh op what is your thoughts about the whole gears the limited edition uh the, the whole setup uh do you think it was a good idea for them to wait as long as they did to show the single player because it's it's gotten some scrutiny from some people Damn, are, are you wrapping up like three different gears topics all into one you got damn right i am because i got to go to bed i got to go to bed son i got to go to bed son i got to be at work at two o'clock in the morning so we're wrapping it up you problem yeah hey that ain't no that ain't no he's still your life man go ahead what's going on it's cool it's cool yeah, yeah, as far yeah. as it being a good idea, I mean, so far it's worked out for them. Of course, everybody complained in the beginning, but then again, after all, they shut up when they got their hands on the tech test, and they saw how good it was as well. Yes, they had a little issues, but then again, it's a tech test. As far as the custom console, anybody who thought that was a sticker, you took a fail on that. I'm sorry. Like, the last sticker for a first-party custom console I remember is, like, the Halo 5 one, and that was back in 2015. And after that, mute, they really mute, mute his mic. Mute his hey, mic hey, now. Hey, hey, why you say that? Why you say that? He's bugging. Excuse me. You you bugging yo yo lawyer? You always getting the jury to go with you. Today you bugging. That console is incredible. Do you see the see through of the? You missed what I said completely. I said whoever. Well, well, say it again. Say it again so I can understand. Say it in. I say it in. Bro, you gotta let him talk, Lemon. Too. Lemon, you gotta let him <laughs> talk. Yeah. Let him talk. Lemon, too hot we, we hear you. We I hear said, you live. We hear you. We hear you. Whoever thought it was a sticker takes a fat L because the last sticker oh, I remember bad. was the Halo 5 one back in 2015. 
Right, right. I, I, I call it for that five console <laughs> comment, man. That shit was fire. Yeah. Okay, I, I, I apologize to you. I thought you said something else. My bad. <laughs> man, <laughs> man, I was like, that system is incredible. My bad. The, oh, only, the right. only console that's had a giant sticker placed on it was that Spider-Man Pro console. Oh, we're not going to talk about that. Oh, Heineken. Yo, yo, don't do, yo, don't do that. It was red. It was red. Oh, oh, oh. My but favorite still, color. <laughs> it still had a giant sticker on it. Just oh. like you know what? You know what? Next, yo, you know what? You can't talk no more, baby bot. You can't no. talk no more. Baby bot being disrespectful. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, go oh, ahead. I didn't know that we're defending stickers now. Okay, anyway, I'm pretty uh, sure that they had that back baby in the 360, baby, but you know, baby bot, baby bot, they were okay. peelable. They baby bot, baby bot. <laughs> Chill, come on, man. We, we, we he's been aside. drinking. He's been yes. drinking. Actually, no, I haven't. This is me just going off. Okay, well, go off at, at some another topic. We we gotta <laughs> keep it moving. Uh, operations. Yeah, you gotta say. Yeah, I'll wrap it up. So, custom console, laser edge, translucent. It has its own custom um turn on theme as well, like Gears Four. Custom console, well, the thing's dope. It's worth all the money, guy. As far as where the shopping games con and the achievements, they they showed off for going gold. The campaign is going to be a beast. Like right now, they confirmed there's going to be RPG elements in it, and that's all I'm going to say. Because anything else is going to spoil what we can do in that game. Did you watch was, my YouTube really video today? Game. That's where you got the information from. Damn. No, no, no. They released an article saying Gears High went gold. They showed a breakdown of all the achievements in the game. I know. I'm just teasing. <laughs> <laughs> no, you could. So, yeah, Gears 5 is going to be crazy. I can't wait to watch oh, 71 off. achievement, 1,000 in points, and that's the start. Yeah, I know, right? and, and I know you want to talk good. about the achievements because you asked if have, have we seen it, and I, ha- and I refuse to watch it because I kind of want to be surprised for whatever the achievements come, but... For, no, you for, can't be surprised, can't Megan? Yeah, I can no, be surprised. Yeah. I haven't you know why you can't be surprised? Because on Xbox, you know when you're going to get an achievement, you got an achievement tracker. No, 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 no. You don't understand. They reveal gameplay mechanics, the achievements. So I'm telling you, I know. Do not look at them. Yeah, the I'm, melee I'm not looking and at all that. Woo! All right. So, so yeah, it's going to be yeah, a beast, bro. So it's going to be a beast to you? All right. Uh, Livewire, what, are, what is your whole thoughts about the whole Gears of War situation? Do you think, um, uh, what do you think about the console? And, you know, what about the whole story reveal being kind of late, just about a month away? Do you think that was a good strategy and the horde mode also being implemented? Give me give me all your thoughts about that. Thank you, live. That was not for you, (laughs) K-Mega. Whatever. Wow, very much. Oh, God. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Oh, my God. All right. Give me your thoughts about Gears 5, man. Uh, It looks good. Can't wait. The console looks better than I thought, though. I must admit. At at first glance, it doesn't look impressive like that. But you got to look at it from multiple angles and see that it's not like a sticker they actually etched in. I mean, we expect that from Microsoft, like the etched in, especially after Gears 4. Yeah, the laser etching. Yeah, but... You know, from first glance, you can't really tell. You know, you really got to look at, I would say, a video and a clean, a clean video of it, not some you gotta have a good TV, seven twenty p shit or, or, or some. Buy one. You gotta have a good TV. Yeah, well, of course you could buy one, but but it ain't out right now. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> but Man. yeah, so no, nah, but it looks good. It looks good. Looks I fantastic. And not using the right word. Fantastic. I can't, I can't wait though. I can't wait. I'm not getting it though. I I debated it, but I'm like, bro, I don't do I really need <laughs> some console. I'm gonna trade in my I'm gonna trade in my um the X that I got now for some. And it's two hundred and seventy three dollars extra. I already did the math. It's 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 two hundred and seventy three dollars uh when you trade in your X. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, so, so they only give you three hundred back. You get some oh. bonus points if you got the pro pro card. Oh, okay. If you don't oh. got the pro card, it's more. <laughs> I believe I have that, but so you need that pro it. card to get that know. bonus content. I, don't I was gonna do it too, card, but I'm still going to do it because I mean, look, it's I I I wanted to upgrade. I kind of got pissed off because I got because Amazon screwed me on the on the Scorpio yeah, you edition. You got the regular edition, so it's okay. My shit still works. You got the you got the matte. You got the matte color edition, no spots, no sparkle, no scarlet word. You regular. You could upgrade. Go ahead, game maker. I allow you to. Don't worry about it. Dare you say basic. Did this orangutan looking motherfucker tell me that I'm basic? 
Yeah. 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 Yo, bot, you see how they do me? Oh, I man. hit it a joke and hey, don't lose no profanity brother, and get my uh, point across. Hey, I, I, tried, I tried to have you. I tried to have you on next podcast. Clean air, all that good stuff, man. And and what happened? Hey, yo, listen, just invite me next time. My little cousin got married. Oh man! <laughs> and I spent, I spent K Mega the pictures. I don't lie, bro. Yo, you know, I'm, I, I'm just messing with you, bro. At the wedding, got at the hey. wedding. Hey. I was still donating to, 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 to the Super Chat at the wedding. Hey, hey. I'm consistent. You know what? You, while you're doing all the defending, uh, my, my boy Delirium Blades over here throwing that salt. He said, oh, yeah. I'm saying, because Doom is over there clowning. Him and Doom are clowning. He said, someone called in the show from their Walgreens payphone. God! Yeah. You know oh, what? no. You know what? And this is the real this is the real deal. Like, you know, we back on the hangout payphone. right now. But... He one said, thing, the one thing the Discord that did, the one thing the Discord did, <laughs> I got a Galaxy Note 9. I got the Galaxy Note 9. It's a $1,200 phone. Ain't no, ain't, ain't no goddamn pay phones over here. If a pay phone costs this much, you need to show me where it's at. I'll uh, go steal it and I won't have to pay these prices. Well, it's yeah, yeah, like yeah. it's like that, that's 1200 yeah, I'm mad at y'all because I was trying to get on through, through the computer. Y'all motherfuckers ain't telling me to get on through the phone. Still cursing online. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, all right. So let me give uh, let me get a big shout out to Mirror XT8. He says, "Great show. Keep up the good work." I, man, I appreciate the the uh, support, but man, I don't know what the hell you're talking about right now, man. Bloody didn't know what the topic was. Live kept on talking, and we heard him a million damn times. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're talking about we're you talking about that, that gears burrito of topics oh, that you good. wrapped together, man. And you know what? And it was it was well done. You know what I'm saying? So what you gotta say about it? This I, I didn't even share my thoughts yet, brother. Okay, good. And you won't. All right, Me let's either. get on to the next oh, topic. He will. He will. <laughs> Don't do that because you gotta go to work 2 a.m. Yo, yo, Xbox, get him. Get him, Xbox. Oh, oh, good. It's this show, man. Oh, we're, no, we're gonna no, we're gonna no, go where he wrote. No, Go ahead, bot. Go ahead. I'm playing. No, I'm well, voting for Xbox gameplay tomorrow. Oh. Oh, hey, you know what? You can vote for him all you want to. I already won. I don't have to yeah, go he, turn he, in he, no he, gameplay. He's not in the voting because he won last week. But yo, check and, this and out. You, and you know who I beat? Xbox 448. You beat you won again? I won By again. A just a bunch of GOG yo, people over there. God By damn. A hair. By a hair. By like half a vote. But who anyway. Won? Who won? Uh, by I'm voting for you, vote. X, but Second I don't care. Place? I'm being biased. Who it's won? all good. Second but yo, place? check this out. Check this out. When it comes to the limited edition console, first off, nobody out there thought they were going to come out with one. Man, and and nope. I, I heard everybody out on social media like, yo, what's going on with Xbox? How come they never do limited edition consoles? How come they never do limited? I bet you they're not going to do a Gears one. I bet you they're not going to do a Gears one. Yo, I would hate to work for Xbox because check this out. Here's why. They come out with one and it's absolute fire. Now, what are fire. people saying? What are people saying? Oh, it looks good, but why are they coming out with one so close to Scarlet? Why are they doing it when Scarlet's mm. a year away? Like, mm. like dude, you, you cannot make the gaming community happy at all. No. Like, it's, it's not the gaming community. Insane. It's the crybabies. Yeah, yeah, basically, basically. I know there's yeah, people out there that appreciate it, trust. And, right. and most of them... The real most, community appreciates it. Mo most of them subscribe to my channel, too, by the way. But, mm. uh, yeah. mm. but, but to, to see what they did with, with the translucence, which we have never seen on any limited ed edition console like that, to have the icon, yes, like, right... Yes, we did. To have the icon right underneath that, like... No, no, it, yes, we like, did. Well, that what? was 360 era. Hold on, hold on. Yes, we did. With what? With the, the 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 see through original OG Xbox oh, Halo the edition. One. The green that, one, yeah. didn't, well, hold on, hold on. I I hear you on that, and the reason That's why I added in that logo underneath it to give it. Depth. Oh no, not the, not, not the, it didn't no. have that logo. It had yeah, no, uh, no. Xbox and, and, logo, and it was and it was all translucent. You're talking Tran about the yeah. green one. Yeah, yeah that, all that, the whole thing. The whole thing. Well, with this one. It's solid color, and then where they added and then it breaks you know, like the ice. Yeah, dude, that Facts. is insane. Uh, yo, yo, even though this generation Xbox has come out with a small number of limited edition consoles, I think it is safe to say when it comes to the attention of detail and the, the, the amount of work and, and the originality. When it comes to these limited edition consoles, Xbox One is number one. Down. Woo! 
Yes. I said that in one of I said that in one of my videos like last year. And when you finish, I'm gonna break it down which ones I'm talking about. Go ahead. There's there's, right. there's no arguing with that. As far as like the game, uh, sh seeing the story and and seeing it earlier than what they planned, I think that is a really good idea. As, as far as announcing the the console a, a month away from when the game comes out, I I think that's perfectly fine. I think that is yes. a, actually a good window yep. where it is it, you know they're starting that hype build up. They're gonna show. Horde mode, and they're going to show the campaign at Gamescom, which is right around the corner. You just see the hype level building up and up until the game releases. That that is a perfect curve right there. I, I think they're I think they're doing everything right. I'm glad that they decided that they're going to show single player. They're going to show the campaign at Gamescom. I, I like I feel that you know opening day for the people who get early access and showing the gameplay. Then I thought that was that was way too late. I think they caved on it as well because the original rollout they want to show it in September and not August because they want to develop. Um, it comes out in a couple of weeks. They got to show it now. I know, but I'm saying go off the original roadmap. They want to show off campaign in September when it comes yeah. out, not August. So I think yeah. they caved the game from due to the backlash. But at the end well, of the day, it's going to be good for us anyway. I think they did that because what happened was within the community after E3, after E3, because they thought they showed an absolutely amazing gears five presentation when they heard what the community was saying about that and like where the hell is the gameplay i i think they actually listened to the community and changed their scheduling and i think it was a great idea and i i i hope that they do that more and i hope when it comes to these conferences that phil will one day understand to show games that that are like out there like a year like uh two or three years in development just throwing kind of like that cgi up there and letting people know that there's life beyond 18 months so uh, uh, to me i'm taking this as a sign that they, they might like actually go ahead with uh that type of ideology moving forward so i'm excited man but i'm gonna clean that up for you and i told k mega this but i'm gonna let you finish as soon as you're done i'm gonna I'm, I'm good, man. It's all you brother First of all, they show gameplay at 2018 E3. Facts. Number two, the gameplay we saw at E3, they did a show on TV. I was at the press conference. K-Mega was not. K-Mega told me, yo, Lemon, they should have showed gameplay. I said, they did show gameplay. Not only did they show gameplay, they got the game on the floor. K-Mega, am I right? Yeah. But that's only for people there. Hold what on. About, what about Hold on. Audience? Hold and on. But listen to what I'm telling you. I'm not saying you're wrong. What I'm telling you is... They did show gameplay in 2018. They showed gameplay first. This year, they showed the, the changing of the faces, homegirl, undecided. I get it. But when K-Mega, when, when I left the press conference, K-Mega said something to me. I says, no, K-Mega. They got that game playable on the floor. Because K-Mega said the same exact thing to me. I said, they got it playable. But I don't know what they showed on the internet. When they showed the Halo and they showed certain things, the internet did not show people the whole press conference. It was chopped up. That's a fact. I agree with you. What people saw and what we saw is something different. They need to show the whole thing. Now, yeah. let's talk about these exclusive consoles edition. They don't have a limited edition. They have more exclusive consoles this generation that kick teeth to ass. First of all, the Tomb Raider edition with the vines and the trees and the 3D marks. That's one. Then I don't you got remember that one, man. Holy of shit. course. Then you got the Forza edition that released in Australia that was shaped like a Lamborghini. Anniversary. I like yeah, the oh, anniversary. Yeah, let's I get into like this. Hold blue. on. Yeah. Let me let, I'm about to get into my BS. Oh. Let's get in. Let's get into the yellow system cuphead edition. Right. Oh. Yeah. Let's get into Gears 4 Eston Scratched Controllers Elite Edition controller. Let's talk oh. about it. The laser edge controller, yo. Mmm. I know we get I got that. And, and I'm, I'm still missing some. Oh, the Michael Jordan edition, both of the axes. But those were small. Those, those were those, special. Those, yeah, those no, 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 no. Those are special. Whether you man. can get it or not, it's still a console. Yeah, but that, that I don't know. But I'm then you're going to talk yeah, about Black Panther and yeah, Godzilla yeah, and yeah, uh, no, all that okay. stuff. But, but listen, listen, listen what I'm telling those, you. But, okay. They, something that's been sold to the public, not off okay. the sweepstakes. No, you could have bought those. But they no. made a thousand of them. You could, you couldn't have bought them. Brother, even the, you even couldn't the have, limited. Only, oh, hold on, hold on. You couldn't buy that twenty-four karat gold one. 
Hey. What what console ever came out of twenty four karat gold? Uh, PlayStation did. They did a twenty. I mean, it wasn't real twenty four karat gold. No, but this, they was gold. Gold. Yeah. this was gold. This was gold. Gold plated. When they say gold right colored, this was gold. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. As like what they did with the fucking PlayStation, it was just gold plated. It was just paint. I was like, the Xbox, right? One X the was Xbox was gold. gold. <laughs> now, then you get into this new console which i'm debating on getting the only i was gonna buy one straight out and i said damn it is late like like they saying it is late and scorpio coming out next year do i really need a new console a x which i already own a scorpion edition do i really need this new console i want it yes, i want yes, it to, I want, the question i want it I, but you know but you know why i'm debating because i also on my channel i'm unboxing the goddamn drone edition oh i see it and I pay for Game Pass. I'm one of the people that's fortunate. I can take my game back and get my month, part of that game money back and still have the drone. But I'm debating, should I get the console or should I get the drone? I want Because that, that console is amazing. That console is amazing. I still have my Gears of War Elite controller, Edge Scratching controller, and the original regular controller, I have both of them. Yo, brother, no, 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 hold on, let me uh, let me go. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go ahead and give a big drone, let me give a big shout out to Sir X Man. I know I was over here just waiting for my time to just come in and say it, but he uh, we weren't getting it though. <laughs> yeah, I know I, I wasn't getting it, so I just, so I just had to get it. But anyway, uh, Sir X Man, he got uh, you know good support to the to the community, to us, to the crew. Facts. Uh, what if, up, sir? He said, uh, "If I was there, limit would be cussing." Facts. Facts. And that's true. Nah, I wouldn't be. I, I, nah, I don't curse. This is not an Xbox Live at the Dog. That's your boy 100. I don't do that. I keep Yo, it politically correct. My channel is PG 13 all day, a day. Nice. It's not a live wire situation. I need that. I need oh, that dog. But, but right check this out. Check this <laughs> out. When it, when it comes, nah, nah, but on some real, on some real. This gen, Yo, PlayStation with PlayStation 3, they had some great, great. It was like a competitive exclusive console edition but this generation has been hands down the only playstation system that was dope was the batman one no i take the, no uh, uh there was two there was Star two Wars? there was two yeah there was the it was the all white it was the all white destiny the uh, destiny nah, that was just white though that was no, clean no though. that 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 was a no, clean that i gave that away on my channel oh, that was nice. white but it was nice. clean. Nice. Nice. all white that's, that's the second nice. edition yeah. Yeah. The first edition actually had in in uh gold leaf gold, actually yeah, gold had leaf, the yeah. map. Oh um, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. That was decent. That wasn't yeah. better than that Gears of War S though. But, but, but no, Gears of War S was a the beast. Other one, no, but hold on. But the other one that was really well, there was there was actually three that I really liked. I did like the Star Wars with Star, with Dark Vader on there because I I was thinking about I like getting that, that one PlayStation. Too, right? But my favorite PlayStation that they made. Well, I mean, no, there was actually four. There, were, but that was a limited edition. So that's kind of goes into the same realm as, as um, it's kind of like the the Jordan Xbox. Yeah, that, that Jordan was crazy. Uh, was that was that was that uh, anniversary that like that weird see through blue PlayStation anniversary? Yeah, that one was dope. But my oh, but brother, my, brother, my brother, hold on hold on. But my all time favorite was that was the PlayStation One, PlayStation Four. Or, or I think it was the pro. That shit no, no, no. Was but that, that's great. that's not that's that that's not a favorite. limited edition. That's a website that paints it. I was gonna get that done for my pro. No, that's that a was, website. No, 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 no. 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 One, brother. What you say? Yo, listen. No, I'm, t I'm trying to tell Lemon that they came out with that. That no, yeah, that was a did. website no, that did that. I was wasn't. gonna get it done. It cost two hundred dollars to get done. That was a website that did that. No. That right, was I'll, not a system I'll, I'll, that came out. It was a website that got that did that for you and made it look like the original PlayStation. That was not a limited edition system. That was a website a limited edition that came out though. But here, here, check this out. I, I will knock this all out for you. Top three best limited edition consoles that you can buy from like a Walmart or something like that throughout okay. this entire generation was the Gears Four Xbox One S, the Max. my. The Minecraft Xbox One S and soon to be the Gears 5 limited edition Xbox One X. There is no other limited no edition. No facts. With the Tomb Raider 2. The Tomb Raider 2 with the vines, you could have bought that. 
but they made like that. a thousand of them. Yeah, no, you can't buy that. that those don't count, women. <laughs> stop, stop saying people. You can buy that. You cannot buy that. For that, that the the mass majority of people cannot buy that. No, no, no you had right. to, you had to, you had to spend mad money to get. Yeah, all. yeah. No, that, you had to that, spend. That bread, okay, you gotta so, have it. No, but that's still, I, yo, look, I enjoyed the PlayStation that was key through the blue one. That was okay, awesome. But, but that was a sweepstake, so that's why that one doesn't count. Yeah. You know what I'm because that wasn't yeah. sold out to the public. You're right. You're right. I get you. Yeah, I can go with that. I can go with that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, Sir X Man said none of that. them can beat the uh, Minecraft Xbox. You know what? It looked. I wasn't going to pay no $400 for that Minecraft Xbox. But the it amount was, of detail in that thing was the amazing. The Minecraft was Xbox good. wasn't $400. The S. It was an S. It was $299. No, it was $400. No, it was $400. No, it, was it, was it was $299 with the game. Oh, why are you arguing with everybody, man? Yes, it was. It was $400. <laughs> Dude, Don't look and, it up. And, and, Don't look it up. The Don't detail. Up. The detail of the yeah, Minecraft. It was, yeah, it was All right, check this out. The okay, maybe I'm Minecraft. wrong. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah. Oh shit! Oh shit! All I know is I don't play Minecraft. <laughs> oh, no, shit. Oh, shit. Hey, hey. This is why. This is why. This is the, the they are head and shoulders above like any of the competition out there. Because even down to the packaging of the Minecraft console, I don't know if you guys remember this, but they went down like subterranean, like you were in Minecraft. When you open it up, it was the grass, and then they went into the, the dirt. Dirt, and eventually right. They went into then the stone, stone and, and then, then bedrock. they went bedrock and lava at the end. You know, that, yeah. that was insane, dude. It was crazy. It was dude, crazy. They, their, their packaging is always top notch. I mean, have you, like, look at what they did for, just alone for the adaptive controller. Like, they know how to make really nice clever package you know for what? anything they do oh no we're not gonna you we're not what? gonna we're not gonna go into a long conversation about no damn no, package no 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 we're not ne no no let's not forget that cup next, one. Next, that cup next, that cup head one that cup head was amazing said the cup head one no but y'all forgot no, we didn't. <laughs> all right oh my god okay now because i know i knew where this was going to go this was this is what takes us past the two hour mark anyway Right. I'm not. I'm not helping. The only either. one got to be the work two in the morning. I don't care. Hey, you know what? I, I'm just cut this damn thing. I'm gonna say good night, everybody. <laughs> Do the pants off, pants off. We out. <laughs> anyway. Oh damn. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah. Next topic. Next topic. Yeah, my bad. Go, next topic. No, no, no. You good. You good. I mean, if this was a regular night. I've been like, who cares? But regard. But you know, I, I got to do it. I got to get at least three hours. Um, the Walmart situation. Oh, Pretty crazy. God. Um. This came down and uh, this came. Uh, oh my lord! Uh, who, who's typing? Who's typing? Who's typing? Again with Again. that cheap ass Walmart keyboard. Man, that keyboard hey, right there. Don't, the don't even go there. All right, this is a two hundred dollar fight stick. Oh, so now, okay, so, I told so, you. So, I told you it was. I told you it was. I told you it was bloody. It was bloody. I, told bloody. I told you. It was bloody. I told you. Hey, just Twitter. Hit the, Hit the, hit the oh, no, 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 don't even go there, Twitter fingers. Hit, hit the mute button. Hit the mute <laughs> button. Bro, that shit's loud. It's in people's ears. Yes. Jesus I almost Christ. called them. I almost called them. Oh, never mind. I ain't going to say that. Baby, tripping, man. Anyway. <laughs> yo, I don't know what he's doing, man. It, it, it doesn't need to be that loud to swipe no. on Tinder. Hey, why, why would but he got a key keyboard. He needs all I, the buttons. Hey, hey, like, I play, the, I play the game when I'm on when I'm, when I'm, when I'm on the uh, on the next podcast, but nobody don't hear my buttons. And if they do... No, I'm, we do I'm hear muted. your buttons. We do I'm, hear I'm your muted. buttons. I'm muted, though. I'm muted. If Bot say something or somebody say something, Especially if you're fighting them. That last fighting game you played, that Japanese um um indie game, all we heard was your buttons in the punch. No, 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 no. I put, I put, I put, I cut them off. Anyway, look, this ain't about me, damn it. This is about bloody. Right. All right. So the, the Walmart situation. I right, you talking about the, the the Walmart situation, man. Um, it's got a lot of a uh, lot of people upset, especially a lot of gamers, because uh, oh, if, if you really. Yo, just real quick, I talked about this. I'm gonna let you know right now. I talked about this on my live stream earlier, and uh, my my monetization went to yellow because of it. I just I just want to let you know that, bro. Okay, I get Man, it. Fuck the monetization. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't need that. We don't oh, need yeah. that. Yeah, it's well, political. I mean, well, uh, last week I got hit. It was crazy. Last week I got hit for. Uh, I don't I, know why half the panel was asleep. But I know, but I know. But it was, it was, it was. last week. Yeah. So that was that was the worst. That was the yeah. worst. Anyway, oh, but damn. but the the fact of it was is that um I got hit with I don't know YouTube is acting funny, but regardless, uh, they don't believe in free speech either, man. No, well they don't believe in in, in stuff that you've been playing 
previously for months, then all of a sudden they hit you, they flag you, and they like, oh, this song right here belongs to somebody. What? What the hell are you talking about? This song has been played for whatever. But oh, oh, it. oh. So I actually, I actually know about that. Apparently, it's because of the whole. Uh, there's a company that has literally been going around and doing manual reviews of people's stuff and hitting so many videos with copyright claims. And it doesn't matter because like, there's, some, there's some there's some that are literally getting a four second clip of of just a small sample and claiming it for you copyright, bought, even though it is straight enough for fair use and shit. Like okay. that. I got I got the cure for all that, man. Uh, it's called Epidemic Sound. Um, you do have to pay monthly right. for it, right? But they have an awesome lineup of music yes, that you can yes, use. Yes, man. they do. Yes, they do. But uh, anyway, or you know, you could just have a musician who does all the music for you. You, you know what? Let's get to the next all right, topic. Let's hey, talk about go to work. Let's Jesus go. Jesus Christ! All right. Um. <laughs> God damn! I swear to God. All right. <laughs> Lord, I, 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 I'm over here, but I need a drink and I can't. Anyway, no beverages for you me. You said you wanted us up, damn it. All right, so. Don't worry, y'all all invited the to the grand is, opening at One Away Dragons so Studio. One, y'all all invited, free liquor, free food. All right, all right let's go. The one, the Walmart situation <laughs> that's going on, uh, you know, of course, you heard about the shooting, you know, the tragic shooting that happened in El Paso. El Paso, yeah. And then, uh, you know, that the whole spectacle politics-wise and all that. But what's crazy is that there's been politicians that's been going coming out and trying to say that video games, trying to incite that video games is the cause of this instead of talking about what the true situation is. And, of course, right. it's, 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 you know, racism, things of that nature. But... That's a whole nother topic, a whole nother discussion. But the situation with Walmart, it seems like what they did is that they, the first report was that they took, a, that they were taking away all violent games. Avatar. Bloody, bloody. You're going to get the ejecto seat because if you don't stop hitting them goddamn buttons. Oh, that was that. That actually was an accident. My bad. Just mute, just mute your mic. Sir. Mute your <laughs> mic, bro, please. I, did, I thought I did have a mic. Mute it. That was my bad. That was my bad. Yo, you, you sent me the rent? Woo! Lord have mercy. Yes, okay, I know, I know. But anyway, so anyway, so basically, what's going? What happened is that Walmart they did not take away violent games, but they took away the display of 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 any game that would be assumed to be violent. But then, yet people are show, going into Walmart and they're showing themselves. Uh, they're showing that they're that they still have guns on the shelves. They're showing uh, violent movies that's still on the shelves, etc. And you know, a lot of people are just over here claiming for a, uh, for but pretty much a, a boycott. So uh, let me go to you, uh, Livewire. What's your thoughts about this, man? Are, are you on the same boat of like, man, Walmart is tripping behind this? Or do you feel that they're just doing this to save their their skin, or uh, have, are they going too far? Where are you on this, man? Real gamers don't buy games from Walmart. Oh, that's oh. oh. Oh, but, yeah. the no, boy, market, the ca- but the casual market, but the casual market is bigger, yeah. and they do. No, I'm not saying no, they the don't. Casual but market, the casual market ain't. Casual market but they're not really the ones complaining about this. Yeah, yeah, more than Walmart. But I would say the casual market's not complaining about this. It's the hardcore gamers, that facts. Are. Right, facts. So no, I don't know. I don't know any hardcore graded. gamers that go to Walmart on for real shit. Nope, me either. Me either. You know, so unless I, you live in them small towns and all you got is a Walmart, facts. I mean, because because bro, Walmart still sells CDs that are what? Uh, uh, mm-hmm. They don't sell uh, par- parental advisory CDs, so you just be in the edited it. versions over there. Yeah. I never bought no shit like that from Walmart. The only thing Xbox, they don't sell edited live? is movies. <laughs> Xbox, where you live? What state? Connecticut. Oh, you right by New York. You should know better. You should know better about what, though, brother? About Walmart not being the end-all, be-all for gaming. It, see, and, oh, they, and they here, never here, were the end-all, be-all. No, be-all. but here's oh. the thing, again. It's just like the, the very first topic that you were talking about. Uh, you know, it, there, we have certain inalienable rights in, in this country. And even though they're only taking down advertisements and stuff like that, we all know Video games are not the problem here. No, we know right? that. We know that. Okay, so but hold on, why, but hold on, guys. So hold on, why hold on, do wait, you wait, accept wait. the company taking a step like it is? Okay, cool, cool. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But listen, chill. Bob wasn't done. I, I, 
Live one oh, done. What? Live, 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 live. Go ahead, Brian. I'll yeah. finish right after. Yeah. No, my bad. My bad, Live. No, 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 no. no, no, no. You know, finish. Fine. No, no, no. Let Live finish. No, no. My live. bad. Go ahead and finish, man. Finish, well, Live. Well, look, my whole thing with, with uh, Walmart is we know they're not the end all be all. What, they, what they're doing is odd, right? It's just, it's just an odd thing to do just for the simple fact that um, it seems like the whole narrative has been pushed. Like video, I don't even know where it came from. The dude shot people up with a gun. He didn't beat somebody to death for the fucking PlayStation. So I don't know what the fuck, how they got even, how video games even became a thing. You know, yeah, you I, it'd be, that, <laughs> I'm just saying it'd be different if the motherfucker just ran through the crowd. He was okay. like, "Yo, this guy done killed like 14 people with a PlayStation." <laughs> no, <laughs> and no, choked no, out no, a motherfucker with a controller. Like. Came from. I'm, I'm going to tell you where it came from. Yeah, people don't know where it came from. Donald Trump, we know people write for him. And he don't read off what they write for him. He just be saying stuff. So when he was asked about the situation that happened in El Paso, and God bless the families for the tra tragedies and the, and the victims and all that, he said, oh, video games are the blame. That's where it came from. It didn't come from anybody saying nobody, nothing else about video game. He just blatantly said it out in the public. Hey, sorry guys. I had to, I got to pay the bills. I got to pay the bills. I'm sorry. Hey, my bad lady infamous. I'm over here. I'm, I'm trying to keep, I'm trying to maintain around here. Uh, big shout oh, out to the day is. Yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> big shout out to Lady Infamous and to the uh, ladies out there to the G GWG. Go check them out every Saturday. El Boogie Sharice. Like I still got to get Woo! El Boogie and Sharice over here. And and Delilah HD. Big time AKA over there. Queen yeah. correct though. So, and, and then y'all had a uh, y'all had a great special guest last week. I, I forgot what yeah. her name was, but she was real cool. Um, yes. But anyway, very knowledgeable. And she, uh, she threw those dolphins out she summoned Woo! the mighty live wire she she the mighty Lord Word. Oh, that's good that's good my, my anyway. new nickname is the deep the deep <laughs> no the deep. we're not gonna even ask what that means go ahead <laughs> oh, no he's watching the boys that's why uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> okay you all right live? what you done live yeah all yeah, right, I'm cool. gonna, yeah good all right cool operations what, what is your thoughts about the whole walmart situation it's dumb. It's a dumb attempt to try to, um, I guess, get pity points, brownie points for the families that passed away, the unfortunate passing with the El Paso shooting. Like, it's just dumb to take down advertisements for violent video games when this, there's data saying it's not even the case at all. But it's, if you want to take down advertisement for games, but you still want some guns in the store as well, it's like mm. it's a very contradictory message you're sending at that point. So they tried it. They like fools. As far as boycotting Walmart, I don't think that's necessary. Yes, this is stupid. I don't think. Yeah, get your groceries, guys. Yeah, don't that's be just, stupid now. Yeah, now, come on, now. we all need Walmart for something. Now, boycotting over this—that's just silly. Right. Just don't, no. just don't buy your games there. Right. <laughs> there you go. I, 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 no, I, that was the best thing that you said uh, the whole the whole night. Live was. I mean, really, I don't. I I can count on my on one hand of how many games that I bought at Walmart. I just, right. I just don't get my games up there. We don't have a more money in Brooklyn. Yeah, so they, go ahead, Lemon. What's your thoughts <laughs> about this situation, Lemon? You know what? First of all, I'm gonna say this. For, I'm gonna say this for the record. And you know, I hate to get political. And people in the United States fight for their gun rights. And in the state, in the area that people fight for their gun rights, and talk about NRA and all this. You know, I have the right to bear arms. How a dude come in Walmart in El Paso in Texas, and nobody got no concern? <laughs> Yo, for real. Nobody yeah. in the whole Walmart got a concealed weapon. Yo, can we get a timestamp? Oh. Yo, 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 Batman, I'm <laughs> telling you, I was just, I put it on Twitter. I don't get political. I try to stay away from stuff like that. But now let's get into the point of if you're going to say we're not going to advertise GTA because that's the biggest selling game this generation besides uh, uh, Minecraft, right? Violent, sexual content, all kind of everything you could believe in the hood happens in Grand Theft Auto. You're not going to advertise it, but they know you got it. You didn't say we taking it off the shelves because you know you're not going to do that because you want that money. Oh, we just not going to promote that as here. 
So when people walk in the video game section, they see Grand Theft Auto, they see Gears, they see Uncharted, they see uh, Detroit Become Human. We all know that's violent, yep. right? Yep. Oh, we're going to sell it. we just not going to say it's here. First of all, you're not a video game store. You're a superstore. You sell everything. Underwear, T-shirts, bras, snacks, TVs, name it. DVDs, Blu-rays. <laughs> So you not advertising on your front page, we got Grand Theft Auto. Nobody cares. Most of the gamers do not go to Walmart to buy games. They go to the game stocks, they go to mom and pop stores. That's what they do. Now, or they buy digital. So them making that stance makes no goddamn sense. And for the president, who makes no sense in 99% of the shit that he, excuse me, the stuff that he say, means nothing because he's the one that said, oh, video games is the problem. Remember when the dude went into the movie theater and shot it up, he had on a trench coat, he said, I thought I was Batman. Oh, we're gonna ban violent movies. Violent movies is not the problem. Sick people are the problem. Guns are not the problem. Guns don't kill people, people kill people with guns. That's what it is. And I'm tired of people looking past what the real problem is. We have sick people that have the right to bear arms, and today they wake up and say, you know what? I'm tired of this BS. I'm going to shoot up Walmart. I'm going to shoot up the mall. I'm going to go and do me a Columbine. That has nothing to do with the weapon. That has nothing to do with the weapon. Because most of us in this room got weapons. We ain't running out. We play Grand Theft Auto. We play Gears. We play Halo. We play uh, uh, all these violent games, APAC. We're not running. I'm not running in nowhere shooting nobody because I play video games and I'm 47 years old. I started with video games. Video games started with my age group. There is no space for video games and knuckleheads. To blame video games, to blame movies at a convenience when situations happen makes no sense. The biggest entertainment market in the world is video games. It don't matter what nobody say. They can't stop that A train. They just say things that just make them feasible at that point. But technically, video games don't make you do anything. Like I said, man. You're going to ban violent movies. I just finished watching Hobbs and Shaw. There was people dying in it all day, but it was a fun, great family movie. So now we're going to ban that too? Because somebody said, yeah, I want to be The Rock, and I'm going to shoot up the mall. Oh, no, we can't have these movies no more. No, no, no. It doesn't make no sense. We need to understand that certain people have issues in their life, and they do crazy things. But you can't blame a particular entertainment, entertainment situation and say that's the problem. I can tell because you why that means doing I'm, it. I'm playing I'm playing Mario. I want to kill people. I'm well, playing yeah, Mar like Mario when he jumps, he squishes that Goomba. Man, that's violence so, right there. Yo, look, I'm spinning my tail in Lucky Tales. I want to kill people. I'm doing spins in Banjo Kazooie. I want to kill people. Stop it. Video games yeah. is not the problem. You the goddamn problem. And I don't want to get a political. I don't like doing that. My channel's for video games, and I keep it PG-13 and entertainment. But yeah, let's well, just be, But th let's there's just times be where those, those kind of intersect, man. When right, something like right, this happens. Right. Like, and, and let's here, just keep it real here. The problem is a you problem. If you have those problems, and you're looking in the mirror, you're tucking your penis between your legs, and you want to kill people. All right, people. all right, no, all right, no, no, all right. No, no, right. no, 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 no. We're going to keep it real. I, no, hey, no. Those hold dudes on, are on, weirdos. On, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, no. What, what the no, hell? We're going to no, no, no. Yo, Bob, Jay, Bob, 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 go ahead, man. Bob, 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 Bill. Ain't that what is his name? He blamed every... No, no, no. What's his name? Oh, oh, no. talk about Fair silence enough. of the lambs, man. Let's, let's no, uh, yeah, and I said yeah, that's yeah. what I'm talking about it because everybody uh, in that movie. Hold on, hold on, K Mega. Don't miss the point. What I'm saying is he wanted to be the main villain talked about, but it had nothing to do with the situation he was talking about. It had something to do with him. That's what I'm talking about. Dude, uh, so when, when when it comes, that's what I'm talking about. Let's when it keep comes, it real here. 
All right, brother. Yeah, keep it real. No, I don't want to keep it real. I'm about to keep it real. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm about to keep it real, man. I'm about to keep it real. Now, see, here, 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 here's something about this. At the surface, when it when it's just advertising and stuff like that, they want they want people to be like, well, that's no big deal. All right. But but with with politicians trying to blame video games to see a corporation and a retail sales entity take a step like this, it's a small step to validating that video games might be the problem. And that's why we can't just sit here and be like, well, it's just advertising and it's just Walmart because what they're doing is they're slowly creating credibility for their argument is what's going on. That's why this, this country, when it was founded, it was founded on the fact that the citizens will govern the government. All right. So if we sit back and let companies do this and not and not like say anything or do anything and say it's no big deal. It's just advertising and it's just Walmart, but they're building a case. I I, I think somebody but, on here is a lawyer, right? They but, let me ask you a question. Lawyer. How old are you? How old are you, but 40. Okay. You know when Atari 26 came out and they came out with that battle tanks game, right? Mm -hmm. And you wasn't even born then. You know they said the same thing back then? They said the same thing what? That it was violent. They, That's what he said. They said the same. Yes. I'm okay. telling you, I'm and, older and, than and you. you. This had is that, not a new subject. No, but you had that with more yeah, yeah, But, but the me. thing Look. is, hold on, hold on. I, I, I'm listening to you. You also listen to me. But the thing right. is now, the thing is now with the people in power, there's a different agenda. All right. So you might go back and be like, yeah, well, you know, they did this with Mortal Kombat and, and you know, they did it. They did, yeah, it, with they did it with Battle Kombat. Like, that's a good, that's a good analogy. All right? right. But at the end of the day, you haven't seen a company come up and step up and say, well, this is what we're going to do about it. You see what I'm saying? And what that does, what he, he, yo, you got to remember, there's a huge, this is a huge country. There's a bunch of different people with different mentalities and different ideologies out there. They are building a case that there is some credibility to video games being responsible for this. I don't agree with that. I don't think they are responsible. I They're think not. video video games are a mirror of the society that plays them, though. Because if you look at it, if you look at it in the United States, what's the most popular games? Violent games. If you look at Fact. Europe. What's the most popular games? Violent games. But then you look at Japan, where over half the population plays video games, and they're one of the most peaceful countries out there. They're not playing violent games. Uh, not, not, not no, to the same I'm extent. Even, I'm not, I'm not going to even say what they're playing. But, but that, but even still, but see, that's what I'm saying. Well, they're playing video a lot of fighting games. games. Are, what are you talking about? The, video they games a are a mirror. Different games. <laughs> video well, games are they, a they, mirror. To be honest, what they are is dating. Don't even go there. That plays them. I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to say it. Yeah, can the man, can the man talk, please? I, I'll just keep going, man. I don't give a shit. No, bro. Right, right. Well, yeah, bro. Right, right. 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 Well, yeah, right. right. Crossfire X is the most popular uh, multiplayer game, if, and that shit is definitely viral. Roll over. I'm talking about like a, as a whole. You 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 pull out one, but if you look at the majority of games that are being played, there is no way that the the Japanese market is any type of mirror to the United States market Facts. in terms of the games that are popular. Well, well, Facts. one one they don't have guns like that over there. But don't 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 that yeah. Okay. Like even the police don't but carry see, guns. Here, here's like if you else. look at the training over there, man, they will beat you the but, fuck up with that really cool hold, 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 hold on, let me just. What's the biggest point? Western no, game we got in the Western Duty. situation? Call of Duty. Uh huh. And what's next? Halo. No, GTA. I was gonna say I was gonna say Battlefield. Yeah. No, no, no. Halo's bigger than Battlefield. Battlefield says about eight million. Million on multiple consoles and, and PC. No, Battlefield sells Halo sells about 14 to 15 million. No, no, Battlefield's. No, not right. the last. Well, Yo, well, just, not generally. Not, just, real quick, Halo, just real, real quick on more. what Livewire said about the guns. Here, Here's the deal. And this is where our country di differs from a lot of other countries. I said this country was founded on 
the fact that the citizens govern the government. When they put into the Bill of Rights the, the freedom to bear arms, that mm. wasn't that wasn't just for hunting and, and stuff like that that people right. claimed. All right. It was in case somehow, some way, our government went out of control and started that's to right. press the civilization right. of the United States. If that's the case, we have something to fight back with. Right. Now if if we all of a sudden start turning over and start giving our rights away to bear arms, then the only people, only people in this country that are going to have weapons are going to be the police and the military. All right, uh, they they're they're pawns and they're just they they get sent out there and told what to do. Like okay. I'm, I'm not I'm not for like the gun regulation. You can you can put like you know background check stuff. No, like he's that. right. He's right. Take guns away. Right is right. Goes against the Bill of Rights. Okay, now I I disagree wholeheartedly, but we got Bloody to go to next. Go ahead, Bloody. All right. Well, what here's the thing, man. I was like this this whole this situation is already bad, and it's hard for me because of the fact that I have family in El Paso, just like I had family in Santa Fe when that happened last year. Mm. All right. That this this is touchy for me because of the fact that I know the whole situation. Yes, I'm, I we can go all day about the whole gun regulation, and everyone knows that I'm I'm a pure Texan boy. I was like I have very strong feelings about that because I'm very much about it. I have what, a, what, what the hell did you just say? You a what? I'm a proud Texan. A boy. Texan. Oh, you a Texan? Texan. I thought, I thought, I thought he said something else. I was like, Lord have mercy. What? Well, good night. <laughs> you see, I'm, I'm, a proud, okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm a proud Texan boy. I was like, that's what I am. But the thing is, we can go all day about the, the gun regulations and stuff like that. I don't believe in taking guns away. It's just there are certain things that you that we need to do. And but and you'd say, yes, but you brought up a lot of points about the whole history of why why that is. But the thing is, even in other countries. Where they're still able to buy guns. Look at most of Europe. Look at the UK. Look at Germany. Look at France. Look at Spain. Look at Italy. You can buy guns, but they have very strict regulations and very, I'm all very for regulations. Prompt. Yeah, I, I said that, I was all for regulations. Yeah, but taking it away isn't going to solve anything because one way or another, someone's going to find a way to get it. But the thing is, what Walmart's doing is 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 a bunch of bullshit because of the fact that it's right. not going to change anything. All they're nope. trying to do is they're trying to save face and get some sort of attention. It's Fact. not helping them. It's not going to do anything. Hiding the violent video games isn't going to do anything because, one, these games have existed for a long time. There is no correlation. They can say that, that video games are the cause of shootings and violence and all that stuff. No. I was like, they said that about every industry that has been popping up since the early 20s. They said that about music back in the day. They said that about movies. They said that about rock and roll. They said that about video games when they first came out. There is no correlation between any of those industries and how someone feels. Yes, there may be some desensitization, but not necessarily because there's still plenty of people who will sit there and watch violence all day. And when they actually see it in person, they're traumatized to all oh, shit. It doesn't mean a damn thing if you do it, because there's a right. lot of people who can dis differentiate between reality and fantasy. But mm. it's the, the biggest thing is that no one wants to tackle the issue of what the cause of this is, which is the fact that one, they don't want to address the gun industry because of the fact that every major politician has a hand in with the NRA and the NRA since the nineties has passed legislation that allows them to openly stop and prohibit regulations on gun Preach. If you really want to go into it, it happened specifically in 98 with the passing of one specific amendment. I believe it was called the Richard amendment. Or anything that was originally legislation that they, that was trying to help prohibit and regulate the sale of weapons. The NRA didn't like that, and they bought people in Congress at the time and in the House to pass what was known as the Richard Amendment to help allow open sale of guns. And that's when the NRA got involved in politics, and that was back in the nineties. Okay, no one wants to tackle the fact that not that. The NRA and gun regulation is so indebted and so bought into politics that they control anything about that. So what do they do to prevent it whenever there's a shooting as they choose another scapegoat by going to the politicians who are in their pockets and using someone else? And what industry gets used for that is fucking video games right now. Why? Because it is the biggest market worldwide that makes billions, billions, almost trillions of dollars on the yearly globally. 
not just from America, Fact. not just from Europe, but globally, from Germany to Britain, uh, to Japan, to China, to Korea, all over. It is one of the biggest economic powerhouses in the world. So it is easy to go after that, which makes a lot of money, and make it a villain for something that is actually causing the issue. No one else wants to address the fact, so they use something that isn't. And then if you look at what the video game industry does, what other industry, besides maybe music, depending on the artist, and occasionally movie stars, depending on the movie stars, that actually has so much of a, makes so much money, yet so much of its community, and even the people who work within that industry, raise as much money for charities like the video game industry. You're talking about a, a industry that has raised Nobody. millions of dollars for not just cancer research, but like the child, the child's play and support for children and all sorts of other things because of what the community has done. Look at what happened with uh, the summer of games done quick. That literally started as just a stream thing that people were trying to do to just speed run games. And then it turned into a full on charity event that's been going on for years now and has raised millions of dollars by itself. You don't see another industry able to do something like that. All right. Well, we're going to get to the uh, pretty much to the next to the last topic, or if not the last topic. But um, I do want to say this. I, where I disagree with Bot is, is this. Um, there has to be regulation. The, web, the main fact is that I think what everybody has missed here, because everybody's talked about how much money video games and how much Bro, money- Bro, I said regulation, dude. But, yeah, but I said, but I understand, but what but you was also saying, and I seen that Blades was saying the same thing, is that once you take a little bit, then they take a mile. You know what the biggest problem about all this is? Is that people don't want to pay attention until they hit their backyard. Facts. The one thing that, it, that, that, is a fact. that pisses me off is that when people want to care about Voting or politics is when it hits their when it hits their back. Mm -hmm. When Otherwise, they should be, when, when they should they should have been caring about politics from the very beginning, or there wouldn't be no NRA that would be lacing lacing politicians. You take your ass out and go to your vote. You'll go to your uh through your state. And if people out there, they, they you know, and, and for judges and everybody else talk about, oh man, we, you know, we ain't, we can never get a leg up, man. The cops is like this. The the judges, they treat us like shit, blah blah blah. Because your your dumb ass don't go out and vote. You don't go and find out. You don't get out those judges that's been already embedded and been bought to put your ass in prison or in jail to make money off of you. You want to put somebody in that's new and fresh that has a vision. You need to listen and pay attention, but you don't. Facts. That's, that's the problem. Man. And the next biggest thing around here is mental illness. Let's not yes. let's not let's not understand. Let, let's let's for, let's not forget that in United States alone, they have some of the highest rates in suicides. Mm -hmm. Japan they, is they, number they, one. They, but but they, Yo, if somebody if somebody commits suicide, it doesn't mean they're mentally ill. There is more. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hold on, hold on, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's a out. mental hold illness, on. but stop check, it, I, dude. Check this out. There is a moral issue in society that nobody is touching on. Nobody will approach it. Nobody wants to get anywhere near it. It's the simple fact of treating people the way you want to be treated, to love your neighbor, no matter what color, no matter what religion, Back. no Back. matter Back. who they are, all right? There is a moral issue in society that nobody wants to touch right now, and that is the main problem above anything else. Yeah, well, okay, but regardless, okay, but don't no, but it's still mental illness. That can't make a anybody, anybody that wants to, anybody that really wants to, that that wants to kill themselves, that want to bodily, that they want to bring bodily harm to themselves, there is something not there. There's something that there's something not there. That you know, what I'm saying, there's yeah. a, there, you got to look at it from a standpoint of, of from homicides is 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 different 
it's 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 bad. It's horrible. But then that's you, you know. But there's somewhat of a reason behind that. I'm not saying that's right. But if you got there's a homicide, there's you you know of you know somebody killed somebody of passion because of passion, or you know somebody got pissed off, something like that. But when you got when you want to hurt yourself, or when you have the in, when you have the mental fortitude to want to go out and shoot and blast people, shoot random people, kids, and, and you know, said kids, right. everything that is a mental, mental issue. That's- yeah, that's mental. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and, and that, it's that's, not the weapon. That, that's, that's, not the it, weapon. No, it's not the weapon. And then look, I'm I, I'm all for the Second Amendment. Right. But there, look, but this Me is too. the thing. You can put you can put you can put some kind of regulation, but if you don't properly do it and fund why people have why why soldiers come back and they have PTSD or they, they or they come or other people that they have these other issues that goes on, you don't go and fund that. You're still gonna have these same issues. So Again, what Walmart has done, I think, is butt ass backwards. Because if you're going to take away the video it, games, it the, the violent video games, then you got to take away the guns, and you got to take. Games you, I'm, I'm, I'm talking. Well, you know, I'm talking about the advertisements, and you got to take away that. You can't hmm. show no. You can't show any violent movie or any movie that does that. You you have to. You can't just sk- tippy toe on that shit. That right. to me is absolutely you gotta go cold gross. Turkey. It's gross. You got to go cold, to- it's cold gross. turkey. They don't want to go cold turkey. You know why they don't want to go cold turkey? Because it generates too much money. Well, I mean, but I'm saying, but I, but it, 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 but it, but it upsets they don't want to go cold turkey. When people out there do not want to pay, where they only want to pay attention until the shit comes and hit them in their in their own backyard, man. And that shit to me is ridiculous. You can talk about and, brother, and, and, brother, and the gun. I, 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 I will let you know. I yeah. have had friends basically get shot and killed on the streets growing up, and you know what was the funny thing about it? Anytime that that happened, I can guarantee you that those guns were not licensed. They were not permitted weapons. No, they they weren't. I mean, that's the whole thing, though. I mean, that, like these reg these talk about doing some doing regulations. They're only going to be half ass regulations. But the one thing about it is that you got to go deeper with that because the people that are doing these killings now are people that don't have records, but they do have records of mental illness. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the thing right there that you that, that I didn't, I didn't hear. Listen. I didn't hear, and at oh. least with these uh, this last batch of of anybody but, having just, a well, mental Paso, illness. El Paso, the Sir, dude, like one thing, has. one thing, yeah, one thing I will hold on, hold on. One thing I will say, and 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 I know Mega, you kind of you you turned away when I said this. Well, about the whole suicide thing and people committing suicide, the way this world is and how it's structured and stuff like that can cause people to want to end their life. Me and you, we might not do it or whatnot, but but if you look at the situation, just look at like everyday happenings. I I get that, but but the only reason why we know about this is because of social media. That's the reason why we know this. There's been there's been monsters well before that there was most social media and well before that 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 you're that a person from from the state of Oklahoma can know somebody did some heinous to somebody in, in Connecticut. But doesn't that doesn't that support the fact that what I said it's it's more of an uh, a moral situation with society the, the than anything else? No, it's the, really the not. world has been immoral from and, the beginning of time yeah, since man that. stepped right. up. Man, man, man has been a cancer to this fucking planet from the get, yeah, but, bro. That doesn't mean but, that. Listen, listen. Though. Hold on, and, hold on, hold on. The only reason why there's let so... Me, hold on, hold on. Let, let me finish. Let, let, let me finish. Let me finish. The one thing that... The, this is a thing right here. How can you just say the, what what's going on today is so heinous, but you forget about the Holocaust or you forget about what happened to <laughs> slavery or what you what happened to... to, to <laughs> To the, to the Irish, or what happened mm-hmm. to the British? What happened to all these other people through the history? Dude, I think of about that. I, I, I think on. about all that stuff as well. Plus the holy wars against Muslims and exactly. stuff like that. Oh, That's oh, what I'm saying. Like, there's oh, been but tyrants, there's but been that is a moral good. issue. Nobody but, should think of themselves superior over a, but, anybody but, else, regardless no, of any kind of color or anything like that. Man, listen, listen That's to a me. Moral but, issue. Listen to me. Okay, let me let me say something, man. And I fucking. Oh damn! I don't want to curse. I don't like to get political for anything. You've been saying that five times, but you're going to get political. Yeah, but, but, <laughs> but you know, you know why? You know why? You know why? Came mega because it's true. But I've been shot three times in my life from the street, and not one gun was legal. So when we talk about people getting shot, I'm not talking from a, a, a watching a news experience. I'm talking about from the hood experience. That's what Gun I was talking about. Control too. is is not it's it's mental. 
it's, 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 it's so much of a bigger problem. This is why I don't get into it on my channel because it's, 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 it's way more than political. I took three bullets, three separate times in my life. You understand? But, and I but, don't even but, like to talk about but, things but, like that. But politics is a part of it as well because I know, I know, okay, man, I'm not knocking it. But listen to where I'm coming of, from. Because of the political situation where people have not but listen to where I'm coming from. fucking area. I know this personally. You know this. I know, but I'm saying because you hear it from a political level, that don't make it right. I'm telling you from experience. I've took shells. I know what it is sitting up in the hospital with tubes all in you, you can't breathe. What I'm telling you is everything is not straightforward. So when they go out there and tell you, oh, video games is the problem, this is what it is. That's not, no. getting shot on a block is not straightforward. No. Everything is not, not black say, and I, one. I, I didn't say it was. I never did say no, that. No, I didn't say you was. I didn't say you did that. I'm saying from my experience, mm -hmm. from my experience, it has nothing to do with you, nothing you know, I know you and Xbox two different entities. What I'm telling you is, I understand when they try to make it a situation that don't make it a fact. That yeah. just gives a different perspective. Right. A lot well, of things is mental health. Well, that's what I'm saying. A lot it's of like, things is we live. Say, a lot of things, everything health. is different. So Walmart is not correct on anything. No, Walmart because you wrong. can't be no, no, correct. They're wrong. They, they're wrong. They're wrong. They they shouldn't have done it. Bottom line, they're Walmart wrong. Is right. Wrong. And, and 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 look, if anybody want to boycott Walmart, go right ahead. I'm not going to stop going into Walmart. Yo, mega, mega. Mega. It's, it's not a it's not a Walmart thing. Yeah. Yo, mega, can I, can Walmart I... is not in Brownsville where I lived at where I got shot. They're not here. So you can't blame the shooting that happened to me in Bra on, on Walmart. They're not even in my hood. They're not even Yo. in Brooklyn. Yo, Mega, can I can I hit up that super chat and um yeah, uh because I have the answer for that. Yo, shout out to Sir X Man hitting up that super chat, showing support for the show and the channel. Thank you, my brother. Uh he said, Do we even know if the dude plays video games? Now here's the thing. Uh, he quoted a Call of Duty game, all right? He used a quote in a Call of Duty game, and people right there pointed to that being the reason why it's the violent video games, which is, <laughs> is BS. Right. Straight well, BS. What's the quote it's from Call of Duty? Facts. Uh, uh, I forgot. I forgot the actual and, quote. And I don't play Call the, of Duty, the, man. The, the, the one it's thing, like a term that people use or something. No, no, no. no it's it in was the from camp. The, it, one of the it games. probably was from Call of Duty Two or Three, the one where he goes into the airport and he shoots the people up. Right, right. It's that, Call of Duty Two. Yeah, and, and and that that's that's it. Look, Trump has already been trying to go after go after uh game go after gaming from from the very beginning, so he could get so Max. he could get heat off of off of his ass. Look. This has happened back when they did this with Mortal Kombat, when New Game hey, of Genome came hey, and to do it. It's crazy, man. No, Mega. no, bloody. We no, no, to, no, we're about, the, we're about gotta to pay the bills. Gotta pay the bills. Pay the okay, bills. but we're about to go to the next topic. But I just wanted to say that. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yo, so well, 11, well, we How many more tackles we got? Yeah. I would say we got, got one a, more. That's our R and B three for the two dollar super chat saying mushrooms always a problem until it's in the hood. That's true. Facts. Right. Facts. No, that part is true. That, that's yeah. absolutely true. That, that the line that right. the line that was quoted was the no Russian line. Yeah. So that, you know, I mean, that's that's absolutely right. I mean, there's been mass shootings. Well, yeah, I guess you look at a drive by as a mass shooting in a sense, but you know, it, it's, it, but this is on another scale though. This is yeah, different. yeah. This they try to different. blame video games on a large scale for small situation. It's just ugly. Yeah. So anyway, ugly. let's get to the it last topic. And, let's get to the last topic and get on out of here. Let's but, go. Let's go. Um, let's go. I, we was going to talk about the uh, Xbox controller. Uh, we'll probably talk about that next week. Uh, the uh, X Cloud controller it looks pretty slick. I think it looks clean, but we'll talk about that next week. We want to talk about these PlayStation games that, uh, well, basically there was one particular that got pretty much the confirmation, which it was confirmed back two, two, three years ago when we seen Death Stranding that it was going to go to the PC. But everybody seems to forgot about that and just made it out to where it was going to be a PlayStation only title. Well, there was another game that just popped up that somebody popped showed and said, "Look, this game called Con Concrete Genie that's supposed to be coming out. It took they took off the label. Um, they took they took off the PlayStation only label off of it. And if you go and you look at the games that's only for PlayStation, those games are for um 
uh, the, 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 that concrete genie game is not listed under the games that's only on the PlayStation. So basically, what this is showing is that this game is going to be another uh, it's going to be another game that's going to go to the PC. So this whole narrative about Xbox is lost, uh, Xbox have no more exclusive, Xbox is losing games to the PC. What is this whole narrative now? This whole narrative change, and plus the the main factor is. In the article that I read, it stated that there were people getting pissed off about the fact that Death Stranding is going to be on the PC and not an exclusive. So I'm going to go to you, Bot, so you yes, can go, go, go to it, and then uh, they'll, they'll move to the rest of the panel. What is your whole thoughts well, about this whole situation? Well, well, well. First off, you know, I, I have I have told people that I feel that PC gaming. When it comes down to it, PC gaming is an open platform. Therefore, I consider it a completely different animal than console gaming. I said this when they started to play anywhere, you know, with you know, Sea of Thieves, everything like that. I have no problem with a game going to PC. All right. So so in that aspect, Death Stranding, if it does go to PC, because we don't we don't necessarily know yet. It, it was taken off. I think it was uh, I believe it was only in Australia, but I could be wrong on that. Um, if it goes to PC, more power, y'all. Like, I'm I'm happy for the PC gamers who might have been like looking at that, but they don't have a PS4. You'll be able to play it on your PC. You'll be happy. Uh, in terms of people getting upset, it's all just for that console war drama. All right. At the end of the day, they thought that they had this feather that they were putting in their cap. When it came to this game, Death Stranding, oh, it's just another exclusive that you know it will only be on the console, this, that, or whatnot. You know, I got, I got a rude, rude awakening for these people because at the end of the day, when when Sony feels that they are ready to do a, a streaming service, you're gonna see, uh, you're gonna see a PlayStation streaming service out there on multiple devices, the same way that you're seeing with Xbox. But the only thing is, Xbox. They own all their server farms. They're they're ahead of the curve when it comes to stuff like that. So you know, for people who are crying out there about Death Stranding, guys, if, if you're excited about the game, be excited about the game. Remember why you started playing video games. It wasn't you weren't the the first game you played. You weren't like, man, well, I'm glad this is not on that other platform, and this is why I'm playing this. There there's nobody out there that was like that when they started playing video games. So. Well, I'm not <laughs> yeah, I, I, that'd be insane dude so like at the end of the day remember why you started playing video games remember the the fun that you had and what games you played and stuff like that don't get all pissed off because now another demographic of gamers who who didn't necessarily invest in your piece of plastic your preferred piece of plastic but might have spent like a huge sum of money on a pc a gaming rig is gonna enjoy that game as well. I mean, like, why? Why are you getting upset over that? It's all console war BS at the end of the day, man. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I agree with I, that. Go I, ahead, Lyle. I'll jump. I'll jump into this one, man. I've been saying for a little bit, man. This is a nonsensical argument, especially when you always hear these people say, "Well, if your console doesn't have exclusives, there's no point in the console, bro. Your television doesn't have an exclusives." You can still watch the same shit on your TV that you can watch on any other fucking television. Yeah, you bought that one. Why? It's something about the TV that you wanted. And that, that shit goes no different from the console. If there's if you have a console that you feel if it doesn't have any exclusives, it's not worth buying, then you probably ain't you, you, your console probably isn't worth shit then. I mean, it's that's plain and simple. Like, look, the demographic for people that like playing on pc is very different from people like to play on console you're not the same type of individuals like playing on i know pc guys that are hardcore idiots like to tell you oh well i don't understand why console peasants want to play on console and blah blah, blah. i'm like bro because not everybody wants to tinker with shit like some people do and some people don't some people just want to go home and turn on their their device and play and that's it they don't want to fuck with shit they don't want to come home and figure out that their fucking update fucked up their shit oh yeah, my, my bad i just said <laughs> mad fuck <laughs> you sure did Go ahead, man. yeah but you know like it's you know you don't want to come home like all right 
like a couple of days ago i had a it wasn't a game issue but it was a mic issue so like i come in and the mic doesn't work because the driver of the update it's just you know it's a headache you don't gotta worry about stuff like that on console yes are certain games better looking on pc of course but look it you get some good with the bad i mean and, and vice versa when it comes to console look man each thing has its own advantages it depends on how much time you want to put in it, especially for a pc i don't look at pc gaming any different than somebody who likes to work on their car and not go to a mechanic is it cheaper yes are you going to spend a lot of time doing it yes but is it is that something you want to do if it's not then you better get the hell out because otherwise pc gaming is not for you you know, and to, and that's why I always struggle with people constantly assuming uh, or, or saying crazy stuff like, well, oh, oh my God, Xbox, this other game is going to PC. Well, I mean, Jesus, well, there's no reason to own the console now. I was just like, what the hell? I'm like, I don't, that's I don't, exactly I, how they sound, right? You know, that's exactly, <laughs> you know, bro, that's exactly how they sound. I'm like, well, there's no reason to own the console now. I mean, I mean, all the games are on PC. I could just get them on PC, but yet you don't play them on PC. So why is that? Well, I don't like PC. But then, bitch, what the hell are you talking about? So you went through this whole spiel about they don't have any no exclusives because they're all on PC. And I ask you, well, why don't you play them on PC? Oh, because I don't like PC. I like consoles. That shit makes no sense. You're arguing shit just to be arguing. Much. All right. What about you, uh, Bloody? Man, it, this whole this this just goes into the aspect of people just want a bitch, just just a bitch, or whenever it's right there in the open for them, and it's been talked about, no one wants to ever believe it. No one wants to be open about it. Like the fact is, like we talked about, brought up Death Stranding. They said this in an interview years ago that it was going to come to PC and everyone's like, no, it's not. It's only going to be on, it's only going to be on PlayStation. It's not going anywhere else. And well, now that people, there's people said that the Decima engine is really hard to get like working on an open platform PC. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and that's not, that's not surprising because again, it's proprietary with one of Sony studios and stuff like that because it comes from Guerrilla games yeah. and stuff like that. However, it was still talked about something that they were going to, that they were going to do. That was their goal with it from the beginning. Even when they started using the Decima engine, that was their, that was absolutely their their goal now with this other game i haven't heard this other game but concrete genie. It, concrete genie okay mm-hmm. i i, I hadn't heard good, it man. i haven't i haven't seen anything on it and until you mentioned it you've but... seen it it's that game where the dude is drawing is is it in the game where the dude is drawing on the walls and stuff yeah he's, doing, the graffiti. Yeah, he's right. doing the graffiti yeah he's doing the graffiti yeah they showed oh, it at okay. E3. Yeah. oh that I mean, one that one okay and now i see what you're talking about yeah the the graffiti game yeah, yeah well okay. i mean not not e3 but the uh the uh their last E three last year. The, no, no, they they showed no, it last it there, year, it but they at, showed it at that PlayStation. Uh, you show, mean on their, their that, that little show, uh, that little show uh, thing. State of play, state of play. Yeah, state of play. State of, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now I remember it. Now I, I think like, you saw it at the PSX first, though. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah no, you're no, right, but yeah, but yeah, they showed. But the last time yeah. that they showed it again was was. I, I looked at it right now. I I recognize it now. I didn't recognize the name. I I just recognize how it looks, and I remember it. But the thing is, is one of those things of. People just want to use, do list wars and all sorts of stupid bullshit. Like, if they were interested in the game just because it was exclusive, they never cared for the game in the first place. It's it's as simple as that. I was like, they didn't care for it. And now that is going to another platform to be possibly potentially played by more people and have the option to reach a wider audience and they're bitching about that, they don't care. They really don't. That's all it amounts to. That's all it is, is people just want to use the- I don't want people to the, play my games though. Exactly, exactly. they just want to use- <laughs> they, they, they want to use it for this console war, like fucking gamer split bullshit. And then they want to use it for these list wars that mean nothing, dude. It, it literally amounts to nothing. If it's going to another platform and you actually care for the game, you would want more people to play the game. Look at how we all saw it felt about cuphead right we absolutely loved cuphead we were glad that it was an xbox exclusive we also know that it was only on windows stores and steam what did we all do when they it got announced for the switch oh that's awesome now the people on the switch actually get to play a good running gun game you know there was no like moaning about it it's just like hey that's cool y'all get to play it and everyone on, on nintendo's platform everyone on switch was all excited to check it out because of the fact that like oh that game was awesome but i don't have an xbox well, guess what? Now you get to play that game on your platform of choice, and you potentially and you actually cared for the game. 
you actually wanted to play it. And now it's on more platforms to reach more players. And that means more money for the developers who are putting into that game. That is yeah. an actual fan of a game. If you get mad that your game is going on another platform, you don't care. You really yeah. do not care. And you're just trying to cause use it for some stupid narrative that you want to say, oh, my, my console, my platform has all these exclusives. You don't have it. That's what yeah. it amounts to. Yeah, but I don't think I, I don't think PlayStation or Microsoft will ever share those type of games. Like uh, games that go to PC for PS4 aren't going to come to Xbox and vice versa, because well, Xbox and and PlayStation are too in competition with one another, and Nintendo isn't. So that's well, why you'll well, see Xbox, way more they Nintendo. Don't, they don't see PlayStation as competition anymore. They don't. Well, yeah, yeah, but what I'm saying is, you know how like people say, well, well, if um. You know, if the game is on PC, well, you know, uh, you know, why do I get it? Get it? Why do I have right. to have an Xbox for it? But then yeah. they'll also turn around and say, "Oh, well, it must be coming to PlayStation." Well, if it's coming to PlayStation, I mean, if it's uh, on PC, you shouldn't have a problem with it because you just said, "Why do you need an Xbox for it?" So you obviously have a PC to play the game. Otherwise, and, oh, and, that, and, that, and that obviously. Yeah. Can that can obviously Why? run it at the same time. You know, you talk about how you have these $2,000 rigs that can run these games at 4K, F 60 FPS, no problem. Then obviously you don't need a net, you don't need to spend $500 on yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, because it, obviously it really you don't need a PlayStation Pro either because those games yeah, are, the, don't even reach that. And in and, and okay. a, and a, a PC that uh, can run 4K 60 is yeah, way more than $2,000. Exactly. Oh, yeah. You're absolutely <laughs> yeah, I mean, because right. to me, that, it, it doesn't make any sense. That's to me, that's crazy. If, if Xbox exclusive isn't exclusive because it's on PC and it, you know, demean diminishes the value of the console, you know, then there should be no problem playing the exclusive because it's on PC. Exactly. But yet people first thing they clamor for is, well, when's it coming to PlayStation? Why does it matter if it comes to PlayStation? I thought it's easily available because it's on PC. Exactly. I, I just, live, you know. live, check this out. Live in the rest of the panel. Do you guys see this as kind of like the beginning of uh, Sony's kind of like idea moving into the PlayStation 5 and what they're going to be doing with their, their first party games and such? Oh, it would make sense. It would make sense. Absolutely. Well, if, and, then, and then you're also going to watch, the, like, every, like everything that comes out, dude, it's all a narrative change. It's most of these people who are making these announcements or talking about these and getting all worked up, they're the vocal minority. And they're not the people who speak for the vast majority. And they're also the ones that could be the most vitriolic. That's, that's what it all comes down to. Is It's always about a stupid narrative to push some stupid agenda that people want to. If, every, if Sony copies Microsoft and does put their first party studios not i guess either day and date which would be comparable or like close to launch in ps now and ups their streaming services that's a great deal for all the playstation fans who care for those games but guess what they're not going to claim it as oh guess what uh playstation's got this great deal with put playstation now you get all your games for for almost nothing because the fact that while they laugh at it for Microsoft doing it, they're going to say, you know, oh, you're going to get these great games for a dollar. I was like, that's because it's all in the bargain bin. But once Sony does it, it's not. It, like I said, it's all a narrative that they're trying to push. And it's stupid Brother, that it turns out that way. Yeah, I yeah. can't I can't wait. Me personally, as a, as a gaming YouTuber, I cannot wait. I hope I'm on the, the, the you know, the website that's when when xbox actually has the gamers mind share out there when you know when people talk about video games it's automatically like xbox and stuff like that because i would love to show people how you truly do a youtube channel you know you're not gonna sit there and bash on something that isn't your preferred or isn't what what seems to be the the gaming community's preferred console at that point in time you just talk about what you like yeah you know what I'm saying? You talk about the, the platform you prefer. You talk about the games that are coming out. You talk about the features, stuff like that. I hope I am on YouTube when Xbox has the mind <laughs> share of the gaming community just to show these other people exactly how you do this thing. Okay. Operations, what is your thoughts? Why are you hitting yeah, on them buttons just... again? Clickety clack. Hey, clickety clack. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, yeah, this is a case of when people, <clears throat> oh, I'm scratching tonight. Yeah, this is pretty, this is a textbook case of when people have the wrong values, I guess, wrong beliefs in gaming as well. Because if you, 
if you're really focused on the politics and stuff surrounding a video game, stuff like this happens. You get caught off guard. You, you catch an egg on your face pretty much. If you came in with the right intentions to right values in gaming, this won't be an issue for you. You won't be mad. And if you are mad about this, you need to reevaluate your life at this point. Because if you're if you're bothered by someone else to be able to play your game, you can't rally behind like Bloody said. These uh, list wars, these narratives. Something is extremely wrong with you at this point. You're gaming for the wrong reasons. You're not even a gamer. You probably you probably just a probably opportunist or just a bum on the internet. You're a drama queen. That too, pretty much. You just on the internet, just whining, complaining, trying to just capture this console that really doesn't care about you. This company that really doesn't care about you at all. So yeah, these people they need help at this point because this is really not this is a non-issue. All right, quick to the point, fast. I like that. Uh, thank you. All right. <laughs> and I just want to say from from my standpoint, I think that the writing was on the wall when PlayStation allowed um when Sony allowed the uh the DualShock to be uh a controller to be used on a PC. Yeah, it was obvious cuz that, that was that was obvious right, right there. Point. Like why would you why would you why would you want if you don't want to keep your games just exclusive to, I mean every, your games only exclusive to the PC why would you want to have a controller, you know, the you know the DualShock controller to be out there unless you want people to be familiar that are familiar with the DualShock to play PlayStation games. Now, look, I don't see, you know, God of War day and date to be out there on the PC, but what I do see is and, and just like I have been seeing and I've been stating this for a couple of years now you can go back to when I said this on the multiplayer when I said this on BGST I said this on next that look there's a t there's a new there's a new era coming and it's not going to make everybody happy and plays and the more and more I see there's PlayStation games that that's from the second parties that that's been coming over like Dragon Quest and and Neo, and there was Nier Automata and Hellblade before those games even was even thought about coming on Xbox. Those games, you know, so you got the second and third party coming over there. Then I told them that PlayStation Now was going to eventually go to the go to the PC. It just makes sense. That's never going to happen. That's crazy. And then what happened? PlayStation Now was on the PC, but then they still well, you can still play Uncharted. And yeah, it's not the new Uncharted, it is not, but you can still play some PlayStation Four games on your PC. And then what's the crazy thing that's going to be coming over? That there's a there's an app and there's a couple of apps out there to where they'll and those and that app Rainway is going to come to the Xbox, and you should be able to play any game that you have on your uh on your xbox i mean on your uh pc you can play that game on your xbox now that app is not on x is not on xbox yet so i you know but that was something that rainway said themselves that they that they had the app and it was going to be on xbox so just think for this for, for a second that those games that we usually see that doesn't that doesn't come over like those second party type of games that usually be kind of exclusive on playstation you can play those games on Xbox and play them while on your Xbox controller. Or you can really do some crazy shit and then try to maybe play those games using your, your DualShock. It's it's like like you could probably do some kind of crazy shit for, 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 for the next Guilty Gear or for whatever. I mean, it's going to be a lot of games that's going to be coming over to the PC because it just makes perfect sense. If if game if Concrete Genie is coming to the is coming to PC, then that's a good thing because it has an opportunity to give you a sequel. Death Stranding is definitely coming over to the PC. That's a good that's a good thing for that game to come uh, over to yo, the PC. Mega, just just one thing real quick and uh, and uh thank you to the Don in in the chat when it, when it comes to Concrete Genie and it, and it comes to uh Death Stranding, mm -hmm. um, because I said first party before. It, he's right; they are second party the deals. Second party. Yes. Okay, yeah. second, second party. So, and regardless of that, like, I mean, what's really crazy is that they, 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 they never thought that those like um, uh, Detroit or uh, Beyond Two Souls, all those games that was made by Quantum Dream. Those the, movies? You, those, hey man, look, don't you talk hey, about hey, my Detroit? Hey, don't you dare talk I, about I my will. Detroit? I will. Anyway, but <laughs> they, they didn't think that that you know they didn't think that those games were ever going to be coming to the PC, and they're coming to the PC. They might have an opportunity to come over to the Xbox now since they're independent. PlayStation is going all in on their first party 
But I guarantee you, just like what Xbox is doing, and I wanted to get into the whole map booty thing, but that's just a whole different topic that we'll probably talk about next week, or maybe I might get a couple of guys together and talk about it. And I'm pretty sure that Xbox gonna talk about it tomorrow. But that's one of the topics. That's man. one of the topics. I wanted to get to it, but we didn't have the time. So it's it's just it's that like, look, there, he's he made it clear that there's going to be games that's going to go to the Xbox. I mean, that's going to stay on Xbox only. And then there's going to be games that's going to be more multi-plat. And then, like somebody was saying, well, Outer Worlds Two is going to come is going is going to come to the PlayStation and come to the to the Switch. When he actually said that, I could see that Outer Worlds Two he said that be would be a perfect Xbox Xbox exclusive. exclusive. Right. I think for games like Ori and Cuphead, things like that, they're great games. But those games it benefit a lot more if they have more hands on if they got more you know hands and eyes on them from different from different platforms and those games aren't looked at they they might be beloved and they might be highly rated but those games aren't really looked at as those big strong triple a titles it's just like if ratchet and clank and i don't know i'm trying to think of an and 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 uh knack came over to the xbox or to the switch and pc is anybody really going to be tripping about that? No, there will be some, but that's that. Those games are not going to be something that you would you would be like, man. I'm not buying a place. I'm I'm not going to buy a PlayStation because of that. So it 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 just really doesn't make any sense. And then lastly, it's the one thing I've always said too is that Microsoft and PC are linked because of their parent company. PlayStation would be throwing all of their games if they had an operating system like Windows. Nintendo would be doing the same damn thing. It just, you know, people got to comprehend, but it's just like what Bloody said. People just want to talk. They want to get mad. They want to they want to get other people upset. They want to troll. They want to do all this crazy shit, and they're really not even talking about the game. They're they're rather talk about the exclusive rights to a to a damn game instead of talking about the game itself. There's an article that's saying, "Hey, where is the Death Stranding hype at?" I said that a couple of months ago, and I got ripped for it. Oh, everybody <laughs> t- everybody talks about that, and the damn article is on N4G. You can go look at it for yourself. Where is the hype for this game? The reason why it doesn't have the hype because nobody knows what the hell this game is about. So, I don't know, man, but... And yet they'll all say, oh, there is hype for it. What are you talking about? Everyone's all hype for it. Yeah, sure. Yeah. What, what is it to talk about? It was the same thing about all the hype for uh, Days Gone up till it launched and no one started talking about it until like a month after when right. everything was already dead about it. it was like oh this game's great really right. yeah, no hype. About it's, yeah. it's no hype and, but it's a game of the year contender already exactly and and what's the sad thing about it is that most of these guys they talk about they talk about every other thing than the actual game and what's what's great about that what's great in that game you don't see gameplay from these from most of these people. You don't see <laughs> nothing. You just hear them talk about the game and little see, uh, you know, little like Kojima did it. Yeah, that's yeah, what's yeah, great. yeah. It, that's it, all that's you a, need to know, Ken and, and, and I said that to one of those PlayStation fanboys, and they got mad at me because I said, "Look, y'all talk more about Kojima than y'all talk about Death Stranding." Hey, listen, man. We prayed to old Coach Jane, my dog. Oh, man. I anyway, I'm talking about. Let me pay the bills, man. Uh, that picture of his underwear on my wall. You just, you just sound like 100 real quick, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Hey, man. Hey, man. In R and B three, he said, uh, Xbox, Windows 10 app, Steam, um, X Cloud. That's enough. Yeah, I mean, that's enough for me too. I mean, I don't care. I mean, I got. I'm, I'm going to always buy a PlayStation. It will be every once in a while while I buy Nintendo or I'll miss some Nintendo, but I'm I'm always I'm, I'm gonna buy the Switch. Yeah, we know about you with that Switch, brother. We we know I'm about you with that Switch. This, I'm getting the Switch this month, man. I'm getting uh-huh. this month. But dude, okay. one thing one thing I did want to say about like because you know me, I've been predicting the whole PlayStation gonna do the streaming thing and stuff like that. The only thing I I will say that I can see as different because at the end of the day, let's just be honest, Sony is completely dependent right. on playstation right they are complete where where microsoft isn't dependent on xbox at all right um you're right and, well in the terms of the the games the first party coming out day and date to like the pc i i don't see that happening because they no. still because they are dependent on mm-hmm. their console right. but once they start getting that revenue in once it does go to pc they start getting the extra revenue in and they start feeling more comfortable they will definitely day and date 
put their first party on PC as well. I, I think what what it, what they'll do is that they'll that that they'll start really implement um uh really throwing out PlayStation Now on on the PC, and they'll start putting their PlayStation Four titles on there. So they'll they'll they'll, they'll, they'll you know God of War, Horizon Zero Dawn, all those games, and then it's like and then I think I can see a year exclusive well a year yeah exclusivity to where it stays on the playstation and then they'll kick it over to uh the pc or, or even if that game if that game hits its max sales around that 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 six month mark they might do it a little bit earlier would be then too long, brother. Yeah, well, would be too long. yeah so it, you know what i'm saying but yeah eventually it's going to be that way because you know nintendo is the only one that has that that has the cards that has everything played for them because they have plenty of money where they don't even have to worry about going taking their games to PC because their games is always in really high demand and and it was funny to me because there was somebody that said well PlayStation games they sell they sell great all of them sell great I said man out of those seven to ten games that y'all will keep constantly bragging about PlayStation has seventy uh seventy nine to eighty one exclusives to that console and not nobody else is talking about those other games they're just talking about those 10 that tells you something right there that tells you something so those games would benefit a hell of a lot better if they would go to the pc or if they would decide to try to maybe put playstation now on you know saying somewhere else kind of like how a lot of people will Break the theory of that Xbox is going to, you know, kind of throw their hat in the ring on to, to the switch and shit like that. We still don't know. But I just tell you this, it's going to be a it's going to definitely throw everybody for a loop because it's not the whole traditional way. It's almost over. It's, it's really almost over. Consoles, I think, will only be here as long as the market wants it. Because once people start getting into it, then and they really start getting mm-hmm. confident into their into the into the uh, uh, into digital, it's 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 all it's all. So it's, Nega, it's you, all. you are absolutely right. See, the thing is, and this is what Microsoft was thinking: if you're a console gamer, they're coming out with a console. You're going to play the game on console. If you're a mobile gamer, you are with XCloud. You're going to have the option for console grade games to be played on your mobile device if you're a mobile gamer then you're gonna love that if you're a pc gamer they haven't played anywhere going on to pc as well you're not even thinking about console you game on pc that's that's um xbox's mentality with this whole thing and people are like you know well it's devaluing the console well you know if you're a multiple if you game on both the pc console or whatever it's whatever you game on the most right that you're gonna think about getting that game on Mm -hmm. and that is what xbox is thinking here and a lot of people have tried to twist it have tried to dilute it and 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 but that is their that is their whole thinking when it comes to X Cloud when it comes to their games going on PC and when it comes to console right and that's the the one major thing is that you can hold on to your PC a lot longer than than uh than, than console gamers hold on to their consoles so I, that's why I feel that the con that, that the console generation is going to be extended a lot longer than what. Uh, than what people think between that five that five year mark. I think they're going to go kind of close to the 360 PlayStation 3 mark because if they're going to be as as powerful as these as, as they're saying, I think that they can last a little bit longer so they don't have to well, make brother, if another it, five if years. It has that if it has that virtual RAM in it, and if mm-hmm. they can if on the the Xbox Scarlet, if you can use the hard drive as additional RAM as well. Then yeah, they're setting up for a kind of like a a long generation mm-hmm. when it comes down to it. That's why I can't wait for them to unveil these pieces of hardware because with the hardware and the technology inside it, you can kind of see how long they're thinking about this generation running. Then that's true. Well, all right, man. Thank you guys, man. Uh, I said I wasn't going to try to hit 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 eleven, but I, I'm, I'm 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 nine minutes away. God dang it, son of a fuck anyway so uh, oh, it's midnight here brother you, uh, get, you gotta get on the lord's time man uh, Woo! anyway no man <laughs> lord's time's right now uh <laughs> xbot thanks for coming on calling him man. to that bed <laughs> xbot thanks for coming Dude, on i man. was planning on crashing anyway because you know crossfire wasn't on man i still had that itch i wanted to talk games with somebody and and it, it just kind of worked out you know beautiful with um you know in terms of how many people were going to be on all that good stuff there was mm-hmm. somebody 
on your panel that was missing and i, I was able to kind of come in and fill that spot man yeah no doubt thank you appreciate it i mean because if it's not you it's usually fred you just said i just feel like talking on here tonight like damn Fred. <laughs> all right, all right, cool. so all right man appreciate it uh where can they find you at and and man, uh, there's something that we always do at the end of the show. It's called the fail of the week, and it could be anything. It doesn't matter what it is, but you got to give us your fail of the week. And where can they find you at? <laughs> fail of the week. All right, that's going to be interesting. And and I hate to do it, guys, but I got to go back uh, political mm-hmm. on this one because uh, Donald Trump took a a picture. Uh, him oh, and his wife took a picture. That's so with a, with a baby. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and the funny thing was now, and this isn't the funny thing. Unfortunately, the, the child's uh, the child's parents were, were killed in, you know, these uh, these mass shootings or whatnot. But in the picture, both uh, Trump and his wife had big smiles on their face and uh, Trump had the thumbs up sign. That was just awful. And they, t- they took a picture like that, man. That is awful. definitely that's got to be the fail of the week. right that, there. That was awful. <laughs> Oh, picture of what baby? Okay, the baby that the, the baby in El Paso that got shot. I mean, the baby well, that no, got no, shot. The parents yeah, shielded the, parents the, parents shielded the baby. Yeah, the yeah. baby the, they shielded, oh. but the baby but the baby got its ribs broke because the bullets went through them. But they, they, you know, but the baby was in critical condition. But he made it. But he's an orphan, and they and and, and so uh, the the you know the president and and the first lady yeah, he used the, the photo baby. op yeah they did yeah, they made they made it into op. a photo op and they're both smiling with the baby and Trump is holding his thumb up you know like that just oh, insane oh man yeah, that's it, it's crazy, crazy. Man, he, he don't like that that dude I I I question his IQ sometimes but um that's anyway like, oh, yeah, a funeral like come on now yeah. yeah I mean I'm pretty sure everyone questions well, he's his, his, his IQ at this point. Yo, but but as far as where you can find me, guys. Look, he's rich. He's not. He doesn't gotta be smart. <laughs> uh, and we, we can question. My man said he was like, question. "Listen, I pulled myself up from my bootstraps. My dad only gave me fourteen million dollars." Yeah, I was about to, to say we can question his wealth as well. But yeah. anyway, um, but yeah, yeah, I have a small channel here on YouTube. It is called Xbox Four Four Eight. It is the home of the next podcast every Saturday, seven p.m. For people who don't know, guys, that's tomorrow. Tomorrow, 7 p.m., of course, the Lord's time. That is Eastern time. Uh, so get ready for that. I hope you guys Amen. tune in. And um, other than that, everything else is real easy. It's all Xbox 448, whether it's uh, Xbox Live, whether it's Twitter. I'm not going to do the whole Pred thing. Uh, that's pretty much the two other places you can find me. And, um, dude, I had a blast. This was a lot of fun, man. I got I to gotta, I gotta jump in more often if, if I'm allowed. Yeah. After the whole political thing, I, no, I don't know. You're allowed, man. you're allowed, man. Anybody's allowed to come on, and man, I, I, I offer, I offer, say, hey, look, anybody that wants to come on GRG, man, let me know. Hit me up in the DMs. I'm with it. So yeah, you can hop in anytime. I'm not, I'm not gonna hit you up. I'm just gonna drop in, man. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> All right. All right, man. Uh, operations, man. Where can they find oh. you at? Uh, what's the fellow of the week, bro? Oh, of course, you can find me on Twitter at operations oppo, or of course. Every Saturday with Bloody on Smash Podcast. And here as well every Friday. Fail a week. Uh, what was it? Oh, yeah, the streamer that got caught being racist. Oh, oh my oh, God. Yeah, that was crazy. Oh, oh, she said, she I, said oh, this is the crap about it. Ah. First, people were capping for her saying she said grocery store. Now, she didn't go back and say, no, I actually said bigger. So, so, which, so which one is it now? Did she say bigger? Did she say grocery she, store? She changed it up. Last time I checked, no, it'll start with NI. Uh, you cannot pronounce none of those NIs. Uh, what was the <laughs> yeah. biggest, bad, the worst thing ever? And look, I much love to stick, man. He's a good dude. But he was adamant to say, look, people just listening to what they want to hear. She just got a bad speech impediment, and she was saying... In the in the grocery store. That's Look, why she man. said ethnic aisle right before she said. Yeah, the she story. said ethnic yeah, aisle weird. before that she is. said <laughs> the in, I, I in G the in here yeah, inner store. Yeah, so come on. Listen, all I'm gonna say is you don't fumble a word unless it's part of your vocabulary. Yeah, That's all I'm yeah, gonna say. Yeah. Exactly. All, all I said was the closest thing I would believe anyone to say that they would have heard, other than what we all know we heard, was in their store. I was like, but I was like, there were some hard letters in there. I'm just like, mm. Mm. I was like, grocery store, that's not believable. I was like, no. in their store, maybe, but we all know what we heard. Yeah, no, that was a great fail of the week. Both of y'all's fail of the week was absolutely on point because I wanted to make that a topic, but I knew that I wouldn't have time because that was going to take all day. I was, was going to take for the rest of the night. I, 
I just like, oh my God. But okay. All right. Good stuff, operations. Uh, Bloody Knuckles, where can they find you at, man? And what's your fill of the week? No, they can find me all over the internet on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, they can also find me over on Mixer, where I stream all the time. And of course, they can find me over on my YouTube channel, where I host the Smash podcast, your little corner for nerdy news and geek goodness every Saturday, where we talk anime, manga, comics, b- movies, and uh, Japanese video games and all that. And I host it with Operation. I also host it with Super G and my boy Soul King, who is our resident artist. But they're going to find me at Bloody Nux, B L O O D I E underscore k n u x all over the place and my fail of the week oh this is gonna be beautiful so all the people who are saying that game that's coming out indivisible which is a Ooh. really really great looking Look beautiful uh, one beautiful turn-based jrpg style game with some wonderful art thinking it was only going to be on pc and playstation 4 but um you idiots don't even know how to do basic research because the fact that if you go to the official indivisible website it says it's also going on Switch and um um that one console everyone wants to leave out, uh Xbox. Woo! The I can't wait. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And the, 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 the 360? The 360. Absolutely. <laughs> or, 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 or the OG. Which, hold on, hold on. Yeah. It can't go to Xbox One, so it's got to be the 360 or the OG Xbox. Uh, yeah, no, we we going to 360 and we also get it on Wii. We also get it on Wii, guys. Oh. Nigga, we should make that a thing. When we find out a game's going to Xbox, we'll be like, yo, it must be the 360 then. It can't I, be the I, one, let's right? Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. It can't be the one. It can't be the one. Oh, my God. Yeah. That is Wait, juicy. what game is this? It's called Indivisible. It really looks awesome really looking. Dope. Really awesome looking turn-based RPG. We're talking about fantastic. like 20 character, 20, 25 characters that you can swap out in your team and everything like that. And everyone's like, oh, it's only going to be on PlayStation. It's only going to be on PC. They're like, it's not coming anywhere else. Forget Xbox. But, I mean, if you just look up the game and go to their official website, it literally says uh, pre-order Steam, Switch, PS4, Xbox One. It's like right there. It's like no one knows how to use the damn internet. I'm just saying. Mm, Nice. All right. And last but not least, our Donald Trump. We know that you wouldn't be hold. You wouldn't do a photo op with a baby. I say, don't take any pictures with babies. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, uh, uh, only my baby. That's he, it. That's right. Yeah, yeah he's like, I take that picture with Ivanka. Ivanka. That's what I'm talking about. What's up, Live Wire? Where can they find you at? And what is your fill of the week? Oh man, shit. My fill of the week is uh, trying to get sleep in my house, man. My daughter just <laughs> shit. She been rough, man. But uh, you can catch me at, on my channel, my uh, you know my YouTube channel, Livewire Gaming, where on a rare occasion I actually put up some gaming shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did some last week though. I did some. I actually did a few videos last week. Nice. I didn't have any audio with it. I just put up gameplay, but. Yeah, it's something though. I mean, something you know, just, just just throw something in there. That's something that I plan on just doing. Just throwing something in there. I I, I damn sure don't make videos like I used to, but you know, just didn't have the time. Yo, but, brother, just one one more thing, real quick. If I yeah. if I can, I just want to I just want to give a shout out in in the chat. Yo, shout out to other zinc man, dude. You have been my absolute entertainment tonight in the chat. Yo, great uh, job, man. Fucking you know, just typing like crazy, dude. Thank you. Other Zinc is is always is always live. I, I was a little disappointed in Rain eighty four this 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 week. Uh, you know what I'm saying? He usually is is consistent, but he was he was he wasn't uh as consistent. He wasn't strong tonight. He must have been tired. <laughs> but yeah, no other Zinc man. He's he's faithful man. He comes in. He's 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 live. He's ready to go, and we appreciate him man. And everybody else who comes by and say what's good, what's up man. And for everybody else, because that's really more more people watch GRG afterwards so you know because of course it's friday night and other people got other things to do and and so we totally understand that but you know we we appreciate all the people that listen to us afterwards man and 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 you know and listen to us live so thank you so anyway but last but not least it's k mega man thank you for coming through uh hanging you, out you said mega man I, I, <laughs> did I? I see yeah. Uh, yeah yeah i did thank you thank you thank you mega man but uh my fill of the week Gosh, y'all had y'all y'all hit my fill of the week. So, uh, my fill of the week is me got to go to work and got to go to work at three hours, um, and 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 try to probably do I'm probably going to be doing twelve hours to, tomorrow. So that's going to suck. The show's still going. So, yeah, yeah, that's all right, that's all right, that's all right. I'm just going to make the best out of it. But you know what I'm going to do? Just remember, 
cocaine is a hell of a drug. Yeah, man. I'm gonna need a lot of it. What I'm gonna need is uh what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm taking Monday off because you ain't gonna be hitting me up like this. You know what I'm saying? This this is this is uh two Saturdays in a row, Jack. Can't do that. Anyway. So everybody have a good one. You know what I always say. If you don't have to, if you ain't gonna game tonight, or if you gotta go to work and you gotta go to bed, that's cool. But if not, what you gotta do, gentlemen? Do the pants off, dance off. Damn right, Xbox. I need to hear you say it one more time for me. But, but my wife's at work right now, man. <laughs> oh my god! Don't Jesus you dare put Christ. Mama on blast like that. I'm gonna tell no, her that. She now. is, man. She, she making him just like. Hey, I'm gonna tell her that he's just like I can't do that because she's not at work, so I, I can't, can't get at it. Can't do that. It's too dirty. All right. <laughs> Everybody have a good one. Oh, God damn it. Hey, thanks for checking out the GRG Podcast. All your gaming news and our special topic of the week. Make sure to join us every Friday night, 8.30 p.m. Eastern, 9.30 p.m. Central, 6.30 p.m. Pacific. This was the GRG Podcast.